bum 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 ba dum. All right, let me do Discord stuff. We're back. Please update, sound alerts. Maybe I should. Well, there's no maybe, I really should. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. No, no. Mm -mm, yes. Alrighty. Okay, almost done. Almost done. <laughs> There, there, oops, there. There. And there we go. All right. So um let me get up my Pokemon Emerald. Alrighty. We should be right in front of Zapdos. Please, I don't want to be here for another like 50 years, man. I guess if I look up... Hang on. Sound alerts. Log in. Update that. Log slide. Hello. Doing a login. Playing with Twitch. Zapdos is dead. Oops. Normally that doesn't kill. Uh -huh. Alright. Settings. Um, what is new update? Uh, yeah, everything seems to be actually fine. Cool, I don't know what was going on then with sound alerts, it's weird. Whatever. Let's do this. I can do that. That, I'm gonna hear myself for a sec. Mute. That. that. Alright. What? what? Jesus Christ. Expo is marked. Okay. Alright, let's, let's spell things correctly. There we go. Look in there. Yeah, All right. Zap this. I'll use rock slide, rock slide again because it does not always kill. Not even close. There we go. That should be fine. Um, we should switch. Yeah, I'm switching to not melon. 
hopefully it just does like agility or some shit. Yeah, that's fine. And let's hope we hit the sleep powder. Now, nah, yep, drill pack shouldn't one shot. Almost does. All right, cool. We're all set up. Let's hope we catch it. Aww. Ultra balls. What do we have after this? We still have Articuno, don't we? Yeah, we do. Shit. Uh, we'll have to go grind more money. God damn it, Zapdos. <laughs> we did this last time. Hang on, I, I, I need to send, I need to send a, a gift to Zap. Uh, oh, did we get it? Motherfucker. Send a meme about Zapdos, man. To be fair, we've only chucked a few uh, Ultra Balls this time, so... You know, we're not gonna catch it soon. I'm gonna fucking end my life, holy shit. Alright. Zapdos... Goes from orange to blue on the spreadsheet. We got Zapdos. No. No. No more. No longer. Jump off the cliff. Didn't realize we didn't fight that scientist. Alright, whatever. Blue we'll kick some ass. Use Earthquake next to a power plant. Should be fine. Can do it again. No. Okay. Um. Can we have my guide back up? So we can get. We're going in order. Hollywag is next. So, Holly, er, technically we don't need both Poliwag and Poliwhirl, but I might do it. We only really need two Poliwhirls, but that's fine. Um, on Cape Brink. I don't even know where Cape Brink is. Uh, it's on one of the islands, that's kind of what I figured. Mm -hmm. It's on Island 2. So let's go to the boat to go to Island 2. Uh, oh! Do we need a... I do have a slow poke. So what do we need from Cape Brink besides that? Oh, nothing? Except for a bell sprout. We already have one. Cool. Um right? Yeah. Alright, sick. We will. Go to Island 2, and go from there. We still have to do more of the post-game, too. Yeah, we need to finish the post-game, actually. Hmm. 
uh, two island. Then from two, we get two polywhirl. Oh, right, I forgot to update the counter. Uh, do, 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 Pokemon needed. Pokemon needed going from 47 to 48. Welcome in, everybody. Uh, not much. How are you doing, Ferial? Um, okay, so we're going to need a... Two poly worlds to trade one for a Jinx. I don't have an Onyx? Okay, that's weird. Um... Uh, where is Cape Brink? Oh, it's just up. Alright. Shouldn't be a problem. Wow. Now where do we get it? Is it from... Uh... Surfing? Or fishing? Or what? Super Rod. Yeah, Super Rod. Okay. Oh, but hello everyone, welcome in. Hi Blobberton. How are you all doing today? Rod. Right. I don't want to register it because we're probably going to be using the bike more. Alright, Poliwhirl, please? That's not a Poliwhirl. That's a 15% chance Gyarados. And we don't need a Gyarados. Nice, nice. Yeah, I'm just, uh... Working on this. We're almost done for Leaf Green. We have... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have... Uh, I didn't mean to use a Surf. Uh, we have 10 more Pokemon to get in this game. Technically 11... But I'm not sure if I'm going to uh, catch a Poliwag. I might catch a Poliwag. Um, like, if I see one, I'll catch it. It's a 40% chance. So. But it's not mandatory, because we're going to need to breed a um, Poliwrath. Or, what is it? Poliwrath or Politoad anyway. So, we'll see. Uh, I should just be able to catch these. I shouldn't need to do anything fancy. Uh, we just caught a... We just caught Zapdos. Which is good. Because Zapdos took... Mm, what? Like... 45 minutes to catch? At, like, one health and a sleep. He took, like, 45 minutes to want to catch, which is great. You know what? Hang on. Sick. That's fine. Sleep powder. I don't really have anything that wouldn't just nuke it into the ground, so putting it to sleep will at least help. Alright, bag, ultra ball. Sick. And that is 49 caught. 49. Goes into the box. I'm not going to mark it as blue quite yet, because we need two of them. And that's what I have on my spreadsheet. Oops. Oh, actually, no, I, I do want to do that. Hang on. Uh, we'll switch that with not melon. Then bag. Super rod. There's the other one. 
six. I will now mark it blue on the spreadsheet. Um, I will say that give it mm, a week or two. Mm, probably closer to two. And we have a very special surprise that I'll let you guys know of when it gets here. So, I'm very much looking forward to it. Yeah. It may or may not involve another sleep lock. Figure I'll at least mention that. Uh, it should not be quite as long, which is good. It will not be like 38 hours. Alright, sick. We now go to... What? Um... Cerulean City. Yeah, I still need to put my P.O. Box in the... Either, like, my Twitch description or on Discord or something. I keep forgetting to do that. Alright, I'm not even gonna fly there. That's just a waste of time. I'm just gonna, like... All right. Vermilion. Then we are going to... Fly to Cerulean. That's Celadon. My brain just went... There's a C in it. Let's go there. No. All right. Um, we are going to go to Cerulean. I think we need it in our party, so I'm going to go grab it. Mm -hmm. Move Pokemon. We're going to move this Poliwhirl. Doesn't really matter for who, because we're going to grab them back immediately anyway. Um, okay. So. My only question now being. Where? Fuck. Um. Cerebi. I didn't mean to close my Cerebi tab. Cerebi. Oops. Wrong button. Alright. Gen 3 being the correct anchor for the game. Oh, just not gonna tell me where, huh? Thank you. That's great. Is it you? No. Is it you? No. Is it you? No. Okay. No. Um. Hmm. House next to the Pokemon Center. That's crazy. We could have been here a really long time. Uh, yeah, I will. Hello. Yep. Bye-bye, Poliwhirl. And that leads us with 50. To get ourselves a Jinx. Uh, 
All right. All right. Now I will look up. Yeah. Sick. We will now go to Victory Road. That is where our next Pokemon awaits us. Uh, yeah, actually I would like to heal. And we will actually keep it open. Move the mail? Wait a minute. It has something on it? What? Mail. Read? Be kind to it. Huh. Actually, wait, what does it know? I'm not gonna use it. Well, 29. Oblivious, Lovely Kiss, Powder Snow, Double Slap, Ice Punch. Okay, cool. Um, it's going in the box, but... Let's see. Move Pokemon. So, I would normally put... Um, our Alakazam back. put them down there to grab but i want the onyx that we're about to catch to go into our image uh to go into our party because i want to put on the metal coat before we put it in the pc assuming we have the metal coat which i think we picked up last time yeah all right pokemon dennis fly us to the indigo plateau so we can get to victory road which has a 30 percent chance to give us an onyx Red Bull flavor is actually pretty good. Alright, Victory Road. There it is. Sick, level 45, Jesus. Uh, Sleep Powder. I still think I one-tap it. Because I don't have any... Uh, let me check. It's a 30% chance, so I'm gonna try Vine Whip. I don't know if one Vine Whip kills. Oh shit, it does. Alright. I should have assumed that 30% that chance is, like, not crazy. You know? That was, like, 15. No way I would've done that. So yeah, I'll just put the Onyx to sleep. Throw Pokeballs at it. Hope the catch rate isn't dicks. And we're gonna move on. Yeah, I should get on the bike. And well, that's a Geo dude. 34. Onyx is back. Level 48. Sleep powder. Alright, cool. Now what do we do? We throw Ultra Balls at it. Yeah, that's about what I expected. I might switch to somebody else. I don't think Rock Throw would kill it. You know, something to damage it rather than it being at full health because it might take a while to catch. Yeah. Um. I don't know, it'd definitely be easier. In Emerald, we need some of False Swipe. 
I mean, like, kind of no shit, but we need someone with false swipe in Emerald. I'm not doing it here, because we only have, like, a few we need left, and it's just not worth it at this time. Alright. We got Onyx. No. Then we want to give it the... Give Metal Coat to Onyx. Now uh, let's get out of the cave. Uh, where are we going next? A s we need a Seal Swinub. That is both an Icefall Cave. Icefall Cave, huh? Hmm. That sounds like a great place. That's sure to not give me any trouble whatsoever. What island is it on? I need to check. I don't actually know. Four island. This isn't the place that has like... Oh no, we already got... We don't need Nevermelt Ice, do we? No. Okay. And who do we need from it? Seal and Swinub, specifically. So, first floor, Seal. Second floor, Swinub. Alright. Shouldn't be a problem. We will go to Four Island. Man, Zev, I didn't even know that you- No, I knew that you streamed, and I was like, okay, cool, you know, he started stream, I'm gonna pop in. So I went to go to your stream- like, I went to your Twitch channel, and I didn't even see a VOD, and I go, did I read my notification wrong? Did he just not stream? It's only been, like, fucking two hours or some shit. Oh, okay. Did, did your VODs? What happened to your VOD? Did you delete it? Or something? Because genuinely, I remember reading the notification. I went to go check, and I'm like, wait, his VOD's not even there. Huh. Yeah, I still have to go in manually. Like, I have to go in... To my, you know, video producer, and then I have to manually upload it to YouTube. By well, manually, I mean there's an export button, but. Oh, shit. What? Uh. So I'm done with this island, but you didn't know about Pokemon eggs. Oh, right! Zeph, I completely forgot about that. Um, the only place you can breed is this island. Post the bot. Oh. Right. I think this is the only place that you can, like, get eggs. Yeah, it is. That's so weird. This is the- this is four island, right? Let me just double check. Also, do you want to hop and call, or do you just... Are you, like, busy? What the hell? Or it's just... It's around here somewhere. Um... Four Island have. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nothing.
Oh. Oh, this is Lorelei's house? And she comes back from four. Oh, right! I think if you beat the Elite Four, as many times as you beat the Elite Four, like, to a certain extent, she gets more and more polka dolls. Huh? Oh, shit! Our toga piece hatching. Make that 52. Toga P is hatched. Uh, we might as well grab that item right there. I don't know what it is, but... Oh, Stardust. Okay. Tasty. Mmm, eating the cave. Delicious. Mmm. Oh, just standard walking gives me what I need? So everything here counts as grass? Yeah, it does. Interesting. Is that a seal? No, that's a fucking dugong. I don't want no dugong. I want a seal. Oh, also, Zeph. Zeph, we talked about this, right? I don't need a Poliwag. I caught two Poliwhirl, one to uh, give to the guy for Jinx, which I already did. But I don't need a Poliwag, because we can just... We're going to have to breed um, Politoad or Polyrath anyway, right? I think is what we talked about. Yeah, alright. I'm going to take it off the list then. Also, Zeph, are you free to get in call? I don't know if you answered. Right, let me just uh, fix this then. There we go. One slow poke. Yep. Uh, I could catch the dugong, but I just need a seal. Guess it really doesn't matter, just one more breeding or whatever. You know. It's either evolving it, or one more egg, which involves more menuing. Don't need a gold bat. I need a seal, which is a 40% chance. There it is. Look at him. Oh man. He, he's derpy. He's here. Sleep better. Ah shit, we missed. It's gonna use rest. Okay. Sleep powder. Oh, okay. Are you still like in the middle of doing that? Though? Or are you good? Uh, Ultra Ball. Cool. That brings our total up to 53. Oops. 53. And then we go into um, floor 2 for a 40% or 50% swine up. You two should kiss already and get it over with. Alright, is this 4-2? Seems like it. Cool. I won't go too far into the cave. There's no need. Um... Man, Zubat's a 10% chance. 
Oh, uh, do we need a sneeze? No, we need a... I'm hoping to get every Pokemon we need from Leaf Green today, but Mewtwo might be a stretch. We'll see. What if you're not looking? Looking at what? 10% chance for the Zubat, what the hell? about Mewtwo. I said I want to catch all the Pokemon in Leaf Green today, but Mewtwo might be a stretch because you have to beat the besides just finishing off the post game, we have to beat the Elite Four again because here's the thing we only have, alright you weren't here, we have Articuno, Swinub, Larvitar Unknown, and Mewtwo, that's it yeah we caught Zapdos within the first like five balls Motherfucker wastes 45 minutes of my time and then goes, all right, that was fun. <laughs> that was fun. You could, you could, I I'm good now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that motherfucker, dude. But we still have uh, Articuno. So one more round with the birds. All right, swine up is caught. That is 54. Exactly. All right. I guess we should get Articuno out of the way. Mainly because I don't want to go to the... Freaking... Uh... Because Articuno's in the... Seafoam Islands. Seafoam... sounding like a middle-aged white man. That's crazy. section. Okay. okay. Floor one, two, oh god, alright, this is, I remember the Seafoam Islands. Jesus Christ. Seafoam Islands, where we can finally get Articuno. Sick Articuno. Uh, what island was the ladies on? Do you remember? I think it was Island 5, right? Yeah, Resort Gorgeous. Alright, we're gonna go over there. We need money. The, the old ladies. We need money for more Pokeballs. Yep. Uh, move Pokemon. Don't need Togepi in our party. You know, like... His moveset's ass, too, right? 
Yeah, he is sassy. I agree. Sassy motherfucker. Thunder wave agility. Like, what is that? What is that? That's bad, is what that is. Not like thunder? You couldn't have given it thunder? Thunder shock? What is this? <laughs> Who was like, yeah, this works? No, that's garbage. Garbage. It's fucking ass, man. I think. Does Moltres have a better one? At, at least it gets flamethrower. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, don't we have our, our team somewhere? Who are you missing from our team? No, it was like Insomnia or something. Um... No, wait. Who did we... What was the last member of our team? Wait, was this really the party we went into the Elite Four with? Minus uh, Insomnia? So we only had like four Pokemon that could do shit? Huh. <laughs> wow. No? What was our last? Oh, it was Jolteon. Uh, I just immediately remembered. I was like, oh shit, there it is. I'm gonna take off his Chesto Berry. He, he doesn't need it right now. Also, the only bonus we have for doing the Elite Four, by the way, like this time around, even though they have higher levels, is the fact that we get revives. Like, mid-battle. But even that only helps to an extent, you know? Still got our ass fucking handed to us. Uh, before we go into Seafoam Islands, we need... Need repels. Because we just need to get to the bottom floor and there's, like, puzzle solving and shit. Okay. Sick. Um, oh, where'd that thing go? Yeah, whatever. I can't find it. Um... I played a lot of New Horizons. I played a little bit of New Leaf when I was younger. And I have Wild World. I haven't played that much Wild World. Animal Crossing is weird. I like it a lot. It's pretty cool. Um, but if I don't have time to check it every day... Because like when you first start up Animal Crossing, the first like hour or two, you can do stuff non-stop pretty much. And then eventually you hit a wall where you can only do a certain amount per day. <laughs> nice try, Zef. No, I'm gonna check to make sure the fucking air conditioning's on. Because it's hot as shit. How the fuck is the air conditioning on? First of all, fuck you. Leave the fan.
Hello, chat. This is my stream now. Yes, the god of Twitch. <laughs> or the internet or something. I've hijacked Colonel Stream. Still hot as balls. What? Zev, I literally said I read the chat. Zev! Zev, I said I read your chat. Oh, I didn't even see the Blobberton did it because I fucking left. Yeah, that's what I'm talking ah, about. Jesus Christ! <laughs> that's That was more effective than any of the screams that you've tried to do, man. <laughs> yeah, you left right as I said, boo. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, alright, I'm gonna go check to make sure the air, uh, the air conditioning is on, and I didn't hear anything past that. Yeah, that's that's what I said. Boo! Like right as you. Ah, you got you got him so good that I, I just left. Yeah, and I was saying Blobbertum got you really good. Ah, uh, also I. Uh, Blobbertum scared. I had to. I also had to change shirts because I wasn't wearing a button-up Hawaiian-style-esque shirt. It's mushrooms. Well, it's mushrooms, Zev. It's mushroom. <laughs> That's what you had to leave stream to do, Zev. You had to go leave stream to do mushrooms. Why does this random no. reap no thunder, but Zapdos doesn't? Dude, poor Zapdos. Zapdos sucks. Like with his base move set. Does Articuno's get better? Can you tell me that? Is Articuno's better or just like still pretty ass? If it doesn't know Blizzard, I don't know what it's thinking. <laughs> Zeph, are you alive? Yes, I'm alive. That's crazy. Zeph, do you want to be alive? <laughs> no comment. All right, all right. Mm. Also, I did just realize this layout is only going to be good for um, Game Boy through Game Boy Advance Pokemon game. You know why? Why? Because for the DS games, I have to display both screens. I mean, depending on which one you do, you could probably put the other screen somewhere off to the side. It doesn't have to be like... Massive. Giant technically, yeah. yeah. What I'm kind of thinking is I'm going to put it off to... I can't see my mouse. Um, here, I'll, I'll move the number. I'm going to put it somewhere like over here. Just like a small box here. 
Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. So I might just edit this one, have two separate layouts. I should play through some of the um, Pokemon uh, Mystery Dungeon games. That could be fun. I oh. plan on doing one of the Mystery... Or whatever. Fuck. I just Which realized. One? Yeah, Team Red. Oh, I'd be playing Blue. Because I think Blue is the one that's on the DS, right? And Red's the one on the Game Boy Advance. Yeah, I, I don't know why it's even like that. <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean... Do they both work the same? I'm wondering how, like, the power of the consoles affects it. Uh, power of the handhelds. I have no idea. I want to assume one of them sounds slightly better or something, because it's on DS and not GBA. Yeah. I don't think that'll ever happen, Blobbertum. <laughs> uh, DX is the one on the Switch, but... Good luck. I don't know either. It's a Pokemon game. When do they drop in price? Um... When they're on the 3DS, currently. <laughs> Seriously, that's like the only time I've seen it. The 3DS one is, um... <laughs> person died. True. He's yeah, telling you to kill yourself. Copy. Man, no. <laughs> He's telling you to die so we can get Pokemon cheaper. Man, no, the only ones... That would become cheaper, or the <laughs> ones that the person has. He said that's how he got four games. <laughs> Zeph, right me two, when you just hanging out with people that <laughs> die or something. <laughs> you hang out with old people, you're like, yeah, you know, you got any Pokemon games? No? Well, shit, I can't be your friend, sorry. <laughs> it's called eBay? That doesn't mean they're cheap. No, that does not mean they're cheap. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, oh yeah, I did get, you know the, the stuff I was talking to you, Zeph, with the uh, sleep lock, because I mentioned that I'm going to be doing a sleep lock, but I didn't mention anything else yeah. regarding all that, um, I sent off the thing, yeah, uh, today, so give it like two weeks. Zeph buys dirty things on eBay, unspeakable or dirty unspeakable things. I believe that. I don't think I've actually bought a thing from eBay now that I think about it. That's how I got Just Dance on the Switch for ten bucks. Yeah, but the thing that doesn't mean somebody died. <laughs> Imagine if eBay you could only upload something if someone died. Dirty Japanese console? And why would I buy a Japanese console? I can't even read Japanese. No, you can't even read full stop. Hey, that's you. No. <laughs> no, man. That, do we need to... Do we need to get a clip and put it in chat? No, we do not. Hmm, organisms. Yeah, organisms. Or, uh, wasn't it like organic it was, organisms or something like that? I think I think it was just organisms, and oh, then you yeah. read it as orgasms. No, cl you know what? Close enough. And then there was like a whole other word, and then you messed up on reading that as well. I can't remember what word that was. It was practically back to back mistakes. I guess I was, I was, I was flustered, man. <laughs> I just read, or, I read orgasm on stream. I was flustered. <laughs> Zev, have you ever orgasm? All right, that's, you, you ever done that on stream? You'd be flustered too, if you misspeak. Oh. Well, luckily, I have enough reading comprehension to not do that. Do you? So, do yeah. You? Yeah. You just said you can't read. You're the one who says I can't read, and I said you can't read. No, you said you can't read Japanese. 
Yeah, I can't read Japanese because I don't understand Japanese. It's a so different... you're saying that you fully understand English? And like, all of its weird I want, rules? I want to say, like, at least 75%. <laughs> English is complicated, man. Yeah, I know it is. Even as a native speaker, it's difficult. <laughs> Are you saying you are native to America? Is that? I mean, what? Are you saying that you are native to America? Because you are a native speaker of the language? <laughs> I don't even know what you're trying to say anymore, man. <laughs> Dude, Zapdos has fried my brain, man. And we have to go do Articuno next. God damn it. Um, I'm only gonna do these two fights one more time because we already have like f still like 45 Ultra Balls, so. Wait, what? I'm only gonna do these fights uh, one more time because we already have 45 Ultra Balls, so we don't need that much more money. Oh, okay. Blobberton's I mean, gonna be back in an hour. All you need is like five to ten Pokeballs. You just gotta spend like forty-five minutes trying to catch Articuno, and then Ooh, end stream, true. and then stream the next day, and you know, just catch it within five. <laughs> you know what'd be really funny? Huh? If I threw one Pokeball and it caught like a normal Pokeball, and it caught first time, it's not gonna happen, but it'd be kind of funny. Actually, you know what would be funny? If I threw my Master Ball and it caught first time. That'd well, be insane. Clearly, you're supposed to use the Master Ball on, like, a Pidgey or Rabbit or something. No, you use it on your starter. Why would you use it on your starter? Man, you get the starter for free. It's already in a Pokeball. Yeah, but, like, change the Pokeball out. Man, I don't think you can even... Can you even do that in general? Uh, there might be one game that you can customize it. I'm not too sure. I'm talking even in the anime, like... Like, can you really change a Pokemon's ball? Human Pokeball. I think there was, like, a whole thing about that. Man, that's in Pal World. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> you know exactly what I mean. You've caught no. some random shop person no, tuners no. or something like that. We're not talking about that. I threw one and the chance was like 0 0.5 that I caught it. And, uh, oops. Now he works in my camp. Yeah, along with the other pals that you caught. You have like one dude and multiple pals that you enslaved. Wait, you know how there's breeding in Pal World? Yeah. If you caught a female human and a male human, do you think the game would allow you to breed and get a Pal egg? I have no idea. That'd be. C I wanna. I wanna test that. What if it. Wait, I don't think they have to be the same type to breed them either, so. Huh. Yeah, I have no idea how even the breeding and stuff works in there. Oh, you have to give them cake. You have to give them cake. They don't cake. breed without cake. It, it's strange. They just refuse. They're like, no, I don't have cake. <laughs> Isn't that how it works in real life too, Zev? You're like, damn, we don't have any cake. Kind of like with Minecraft villagers, you gotta eat, like, stacks and stacks of bread. Just, like, loaves and loaves of bread. Technically, don't you just not need that much bread? It's just that they seem to refuse unless you throw, like, five stacks. Yeah. What happens is a lot of them, um, they have, like, their own separate inventory, and sometimes their inventory has to be, like, relatively full to be able to do it. So they're just like, like hoarding bread in their pockets, and then they're going, 
you know what I've seen once? I tried to get some villagers to breed, and I would, like, give them, like, just enough bread. Because, like, every once in a while, you know, it, they would they would actually make a kid with just, like, less than ten bread. But then sometimes I would throw, like, almost an entire stack, and then they just would not breed. So I would give them more bread, and they'd pick it up, and then they'd start dropping the bread for other villagers. Oh my god. Oh, what are you doing? Just, just freaking multiply. I need more villages for shops. Why are you... What are you doing? Why are you tossing the bread out I just gave you? Stop sharing it. Yeah. Also, by the way... I need more villagers. I bought 55 Ultra Balls, and I'm buying 30 Revives now, just so I have Revives for when we have to go do the Elite Four. You can't buy Max Revives, can you? I don't think you can. Okay. Um, wait a minute, if should I- If you can, then uh, they would- be probably the same place you can buy Fall Restores, but I'm pretty sure you can't buy Max Revives. Okay, should I look up, like, a map of Seafoam Islands, probably? Yeah. I don't- I just don't want to be here for, like, two hours or some shit. Yeah, I would recommend a Seafoam Island map. I'm looking forward to trying that that game out, by the way. So am I. Looks pretty sick. Yeah, we, we have to figure out how uh, multiplayer works. Yeah, I think you can... When I was checking it out, it looked like I could just go in with my actual character, or just make a new character. I'm wondering if drops are separate. Well, because when you kill things, I imagine when you kill things, you get, like, XP, right? Yeah. So, in a lot of games that I've played that are that similar style, if you are in a party with someone else, and you're killing stuff in the same room, XP is, like, semi-shared. And I'm wondering if that works like that, too. I'm going to assume so. Also, editor looked at that game and was like, mm, that game looks interesting. I think you can play with, like, six people. It's a lot of people. That's enough to start a villager breeding facility. Which makes me wonder how summons and stuff work, because the hotkeys, you can have, like, four or five different summons, which mm. would then give you, like, a party total of six. Which... Oh. Assuming you have the same build, right? <laughs> And you have six people? <laughs> yeah. Could, could each people have- each person have like four or five summons each? Along with the party of six? <laughs> That'd be kind of crazy. Also, I have no idea on like if there's any scaling and stuff. I imagine there is. Uh, hang on. So I have arrows. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. So, Seafoam Island Articuno is kind of dicks. Because you can get... To... Articuno... From Fuchsia, but not from Cinnabar. But if you do the rock pushing quest, where you... You push all the rocks down, then you gain access... 
to fut the future side from the Cinnabar Island side. I'm just gonna follow the map, dude. <laughs> I go in there. Yeah, just just do the map and do the rocks. <laughs> I'm like losing my shit. I don't think I have to do the rocks to get to Articuno. I think you do because I'm pretty sure you have to surf to get to Articuno. Unless. Oh yeah, the the current is much here. too fast. Yeah. You have to do the rocks to. Okay. Well, you know what this means. The current. I went from the Cinnabar Island side. I need to go to the, from the Fuchsia side. Isn't that great, Zev? But I have to go to a completely different side now. The, the, the sea foam thing is really weird. It's like annoying. And also, this map is—it's kind of helpful, but it's still confusing as shit. There's just like a lot. Alright, so I need to fly to the Fu Fuchsia City and then come back down this way. Because it allows access to the other side of Seafoam Islands. I feel like Seafoam Islands wouldn't be that bad if Articuno also didn't have that ass catch rate. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, we have to do like... I don't know, this fucking escapade to get to the Seafoam Islands, and then we have to go through the catching, you know what I mean? You know what is going to make this arguably worse, by the way? Huh. My lack of repels. But also, I uh, don't have any Pokemon money left, by the way. I have like 300 Poke Dollars. So, why do you not have it automatically upload at least to Twitch? Because I just kind of don't. That's crazy. I just left it alone. Does it not, like, auto-upload? Did you turn- you said that you turned that off? No, I didn't. I said I didn't turn it on. It was, like, default off, and I just didn't turn it on. Mm. Dude, you want it? Here, hang on. Zev, I just, uh, I DM'd you the, the image that I'm using. <laughs> just so you know the fucking map shit I'm using for this. Man, I only just seen the gif that she sent. <laughs> Yeah, dude, Zapdos is being a motherfucker. This looks like a standard map. Pretty much. It's just a lot. So I'm just doing all the boulders, and then I go from... A to B to... Wait. Do I go down ladder K? Where, where does K go? K... Goes to where's the other K? It oh, goes like that, directly yeah. below it, and then that's because the you again. push the boulder all the. I push both. Oh, boulders you go right all there. the way to the boulder next to K. Yep. And push then you that push through. down the hole. Yep. And then you go down to K, so you can push it down another hole. Yep, because we're doing this to, like, direct the flow of water, pretty much, right? Or, like, to, to kind of stop the current. Yeah. So, yeah. You, you, you go all... You follow that blue line 
to push the boulder down. Then you go to K. And then you go down one level to push the the boulder down again. And then you go back up K. And, oh, and then, then not to mention we are we are pushing the dark blue boulder as well down. I already did that one. Where did they? <laughs> it's on level one. Like if you, if you look at uh, level one, there's the dark blue boulder. Yeah, I'm looking for how you get to three. You go down ladder. Oh, F. oh wait, no, you just fall down the hole. Never mind, right? Uh, should I try it? I fell down the hole. Yeah, you do. Yeah, and then. Yeah. All right. So. And then you would go down the ladder for F. To bring you down to the others thing. To bring you down to E. But I don't think you're there yet. Because you gotta do the other set of boulders. <laughs> yeah, so how do I get up though? Um. I have to go down F. Yeah, you go down F and then you go, go down e, e. And then you... Surf somewhere else. E... No, E, and then I walk over to D, and then D up to C, and then C back oh, around to L. Oh, I see that there was no there. Yeah, C back to L, alright. Jesus Christ, dude. Without, I mean, like, I could do this without this guide. It would just take so much fucking longer, you know? Yeah, that, that's why I said he's the man. <laughs> alright, L... Well, the other fast way to push all the boulders down, by the way, which I did on my original copy of Yellow, is I just, like, fell down after the boulder. I pushed the boulder down the hole, then I fell down, you know what I mean? Then it avoids yeah. a lot of ladders. Wait, that's what I should just do. Although, this is... Where did I come up? This you is are D to D, so I go around to C. C's right here. here. Up to C... C brings me out here, and then I go up to D. Ladder. Wait. The L. I think. Oh, well, while I'm at C, should I do the two boulders that are over there? Wait, what the hell? There's like two boulders to do. Oh wait, no, or, no, never mind, never mind. I was looking at the yeah, wrong you're, spot. Yeah, you're on the wrong floor. I was looking at, so I go up to L. Yeah, L to A, and then from A I go to where I push the first boulder. Oh no, wait. When I go up to L, I can just go over to Boulder Two. Okay. Oh, it's because you went to on level four when you go to D, you didn't circle around. To the boulders. Mm. Why do I feel like I should invest in a like Ash Ketchum hat or some shit if I'm gonna be doing more Pokedex stuff? I think you, know, you should, cause then you can do the hat flip. True, I can do it for really annoying things or for shinies. All right, I can just fall down and then to three. Alright, and then we... I don't want to fall down again, right? Uh... I meant uh, dark blue three. Uh, you do want to fall down again. I, I do? Think that's faster. Yeah. Because I think you'll <laughs> end up on the left side. I'm on the water. Oh, you yeah. Okay, go up to the left. Those, Dude, that, that was so funny. Cold. Dude, it didn't even ask if I wanted to surf. It just fucking... I just slammed down onto my surf Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. So as I'm falling, I throw a Pokeball under me. My Pokemon looks up and goes, Where the fuck am I? And I just land on its back. Like, what if this water wasn't... What if this wall, uh, water was shallow? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fuck? 
All right, so I go here, and then I go down, right? Yeah, like straight down. There's another staircase directly. And below then there's you. the the boulders. And then that's the two boulders, yeah. And that should be it. Then I go to Articuno, pretty much. Uh, pretty much, yeah. So there's like four boulders that you have to mess with. Yep. I push this one. All the way up. This one down. Why does it say to push that other boulder to the right? What do you mean? Push that one there. I'll say you messed up already. How? Yes. Oh, to the right. I, I don't. I don't know why it says it to push matter. the boulder to the right. I, I think it, there. You can push it all the way to the left. There. We only did. We only needed two. Do I just go but down? Look now? at the guide thing. It, it's. <laughs> yeah, it says to push it to the right. That's weird. Then I should just go up, right? And Articuno's right there. Yeah. Sick. Oh no, Zev. Uh. Zev, do I have an escape rope? I do not know why. Because getting out of here is just going to be annoying. No, it's it's easy. Oh, it is? Yeah. I think you can just Ooh, go fuck both. Like the right side. It scared the shit out of me. I thought it automatically started when I went next to it. And I was like, that's not supposed to happen. But it was just a fucking goal bat because I didn't save. Oh, I thought, I thought you encountered it. No, right I didn't way. save yet. All right. Uh, who should we lead with? Who do you think? Um. Or what's the move set? Do we know? Probably. Oh wait, no, you don't have thing, do you? Um, thunder wave anymore? Uh, no. I have sleep powder. That's the that's the only status condition move I have. So I, I guess we just lead with not melon. Or who's gonna deal the damage to get it lower? Ow. I don't know. I don't know what its moves are. I'm just gonna switch in not melon. Uh, I mean, the... Wouldn't you want to weaken it first? I can weaken it afterwards. After I put it to sleep. And also, you know, this thing better have like blizzard or ice beam. I like Bruh. how you say that as like that's what you technically don't want it to have because it'll just it destroy not. It, it started with agility, so my hopes are not too high. <laughs> I think they all have agility. It knows even mist. Even in like gen, even in Gen One. Bruh, it knows fucking mist. That's kind of not surprising. I just want its moves had to be good. Like, god damn it, man. No, <laughs> I'm gonna use Razor Leaf. You think Razor Leaf's gonna do big damage, man? Holy shit. Nah, you know what? Fuck it. It's asleep. Fuck. Alright, that, that would've been really funny. Oh, it woke up! It used ag agility again! Wow! Wow! Agility. 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 It used mist again, but it failed. Seth, its move set's cooked, or its AI's cooked. Actually, I don't. I think it's its AI that's like not very good. You think? Actually, never mind. I was gonna say, do you think hitting it with a psychic would kill it? But I know the answer. It's a yes. Dude, does it know what attacking moves? It likely does. I 
I don't know why it's not. It obviously does not have only two moves. I killed it. <laughs> nice going. Okay, can you look up its moves? I need to know if it's if this thing is just cooked. Ah, shit. It wouldn't have just two moves, man. Huh? It wouldn't have just two moves. Man. Obviously, Hang it has on. more than agility and miss. I'm grabbing thing. My hair is annoying the shit out of me, so I had to grab a beanie because I don't have a good hat, dude. It has Mind Reader and Ice Beam. Okay, it at least has Ice Beam. Why is it not using Ice Beam? Zev, did you tell it to not use Ice Beam? Well, it also has Mind Reader could have used. Uh, should we use Rock and Roll and use one Rock Slide? Because one Rock Slide normally didn't kill Zapdos and got it into one hit range. You can't do that. You can't do that. Why? Because Articuno is also ice, remember? Uh, Zapdos was also electric. Electric rock doesn't beat electric. Oh, right, it's ground. I always get that confused. It'll be fine. Rock slide is four times on Articuno. So if it died, why didn't you tell me that was a bad idea? Dude, I was <laughs> telling you it's ice type, man. I'm pretty sure it's Rock beats ice. Let me double check on it. <laughs> well, I'm guess pretty what? sure it's rock beats ice. I'm mixing Red Bull and the rest of my drink. Cause I know rock beats flying, which you know that at least. Yeah, rock types are super effective against ice type as well. Mm. So yeah, Articuno is four times weak to rock slide. All right, so what do we have to weaken it then? And, and four times stuff is no joke at times, man. Should I just use like surf on it? Like what? What do we? Actually, I could use rock and roll strength, right? Yeah, that would work. No way, strength. Resisted. Yeah. And there's also no stab on it, so you don't have to worry about the extra damage. True, Zev. 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 What? Strength. It's using agility! Dude, I feel like they they should have looked- Oh, now it's using Ice Beam. Rock and Roll's gonna get fucking obliterated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, now Articuno used Ice Beam twice in a row. Good job. I don't know why it wasn't using Ice Beam on my uh, Venusaur, but, you know. Good on you, I guess. Oh, now it's just- okay, now it's just spamming Ice Beam. <laughs> Melon's dead. <laughs> or sorry, not Melon's dead. You see? I told you, man. It's an ice smooth. You wanna technically hope it doesn't have- Don't ice worry, I'll use Dennis. It. I'll use Dennis. Are you ready? Dennis is gonna give us the power of the Ultra Ball. Dennis, 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 De fuck, F fuck, 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 Dennis, 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 no. De Dennis, did you know Dennis died a level five getting hit by an ice beam from Articuno would die? That's fucking crazy. 
I wouldn't have guessed. Uh, is reflect for special defense? All right, I'll put up one reflect. No, it's for defense. What? I thought reflect was special defense. No, I just said defense. What was it barrier then? Maybe. Or whatever called. Ultra Ball. I don't think we have anything left on our team that wouldn't just like one hit Articuno. Maybe Surf, actually. Could use Surf. We don't have anything to like put it to sleep though. What, what do we do here? I guess I go use Surf, right? Like something to just get it lower than that. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go use Surf. Should I use Toxic instead? That's status. I mean, that would also increase its chance to be caught, but remember... No, nah, it'll work. It puts you on the timer. <laughs> Nah, nah, it'll work. Watch. <laughs> and then I get frozen or some shit. Alright, toxic. Boom. I mean, we might as well, since most of our, like, team's dead anyway. You know what I mean? We caught it. Are you fucking serious? Dude, Toxic was the move. Bye. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, I'll take that, honestly. Like, I'll, I'll gladly take that, you know what I mean? Oh, Zeph, we go catch a Larvitar now. Sick. Cool, how do we leave? Okay, so... So, surf downwards. Okay. And then, like, go past that ladder. So you go all the way to the right. Do I go up? You go up, not... Don't go up the ladder, go past the ladder. To the next area you can surf. Oh, I just go over to where E is and then leave. Yeah. Alright. And we can fly once we're out of the cave, so. Yeah, because, like, where it says E, and then th that yep. should, like, just spit you out of the cave, basically. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly glad Arnakuno. Ar didn't Arnakuno take, like, five Ultra Balls, too? Something like that. Oh, I can check. I, I think it was like five. Yeah, it was exactly five. Uh, yeah, I can't. What? I thought you could. I thought the current, like, goes the other way and, like, just kind of spits you out. I guess you have to go up D then. Also, you're gonna grab that item before you thing. Uh, what item? The one that was next to the current. If you go straight down, then far right. Oh, I go all the way down again where I was. Yeah. I think I think I know what that is. Not on land. I don't know what that item is. No, no, on land. What are you doing? Um... <laughs> you mean over here where I'm running? Yeah, run away from the dugong. <laughs> it 
to go straight down. I'm, I'm all trying. The way and then to the right. Man, stop getting into encounters. I don't have any repels. <laughs> just forget repels. Just carry a can of mace and just spray the Pokemon. Right, it was one Ultra Ball. <laughs> you know what would have been better than that? Huh. There's a water stone in this cave. Did you imagine that though? On like during like Pokemon or something, you could just like mace the other trainer or something or wild Pokemon. They like come near you, like it's time to battle. You just spray them in the <laughs> eyes. No, it's not. <laughs> just <laughs> screaming. They're like ah. Pokemon tries to encounter you, just spray it in the eye. No random battles. No random repels. battles. I'm done with this. <laughs> like that gold that you just spray it in the eyes, like close enough to repels. Man, I got an ad. Thank you for your service. Man, I can't hear you anymore. I have oh an my fucking god, man. Man, I hope you're not saying anything because I can't hear you because the ad. Because I totally have you muted on Discord and listening on stream. Can I have ad no more ads again? I can hear you again. You know, we should be taking the tails off of these slowpokes. You know how much money we could make? <laughs> Man. One million polka dollars per tail. Like how they even add a price for stuff like that, where it's like just higher than the limit that you can actually get. Yeah. Like in the original Gen One, at least the, the bike. bikes were. Yeah. Wasn't it like also some it was a one mil. million? Yeah, it was a mill. You can't even get that because the game would cap it like a bunch of nines. <laughs> Um, alright. What's next? I said Larvitar? Yes. Uh... Lar... Larvitar. Savalt Canyon. Oh, this is where, um... Savalt Canyon's where we get the King's Rock. We need that. What? Uh, the King's Rock is in the same place that we get a Larvitar. Oh. And we need the King's Rock. Oh, great. Guess what? Huh. Larvitar has a 5% chance. 5% encounter rate. Jesus, dude. In this place, you can get a Geodude, Fanfi, Pharaoh, Meowth, Cubone, Marowak, Persian, Onyx, or Larvitar. But in Fire Red, you can get a Skarmory as well. Mm. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. Guess what? Huh. There's a bunch of, um... There's a... Bunch of battlers here a bunch of trainers why does it say trico chosen underneath trico is not the hell man uh, what yeah i don't even know what island this is on canyon entrance oh it's on seven island okay jeff are you ready to go to seven island no i am not Oh shit. My number is supposed to be at 57, by the way. I don't know why it's at 55. Because we got Larvitar, Unknown, and then Mewtwo, and that's it. And then we're done with Leaf Green.
for now. I mean, until I want to, like, shiny hunt or finish this dex or whatever. Hey, uh, Zev, you know how I was talking about, like, wanting to complete more Pokedexes? Yeah. I'm thinking in situations like this, if I wanted to complete, like, the leaf green decks, I would obviously be only counting, like, the normal Pokedex, considering we're already doing the national decks in Emerald, and it'd be the same thing. That makes sense. Just because there's no point, and it would just be doing this all again, kind of. It'd be kind of stupid. Oh, wait, um... Where's the... Hang on. We still need the ruby, right? Or the sapphire. I think so. You already got the ruby. Okay, use cut on the door to get in. Mm, that's on Six Island. Uh, we'll do that after. Because I think we do need to finish the post game, if I remember correctly. Uh, trainer Tower. Ah, oh, shit. Somewhere on this island, a peculiar Pokemon is sleeping. I don't know what that would be. Peculiar. Oh, there's ruins? Oh, there's ruins. Are they referring to unknown? Then? Probably. You know what's really funny? In the ruins, oh. there's a chance of getting two Pokemon. There's a 99% chance that what? it is an A, and a 1% chance that it's a question mark. Wait, say that again? There's a 99% chance the unknown is an A, and there's a 1% chance that it's a question mark. That's goofy. At least that's in like one of the chambers. think it's gonna be beating the Elite Four again. Thank you, Yaoi. Definitely more and difficult welcome in. than the first one. Yeah, I think it'll be difficult. Currently driving. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, don't be like Zeph who watches streams and chats while driving. One hand on the steering wheel, one hand on his phone. He's crashed into several preschools. Haven't you, Zef? What? You weren't paying attention, were you? Not really. Good. Good, good, good. Because I was... Good. I was trying to do another thing as well. Oh, I need to go down. Um, yeah, we can't stay for long because they're driving. And I said, good, be better than Zeph, who uh, drives with one hand and watches streams and chats with the other. I was it I kinda heard that, but I didn't know who you were talking about. I yeah, thought you were saying Yaoi. Yeah, no, and then I said that you with ran... one hand on the wheel and one <laughs> No, and then I said that you ran into several preschools. Killed a few kids. I at least heard preschools. I didn't hear You just you didn't you didn't question like, 
half of the stuff. You didn't, you didn't question any of it. You were like, yeah, that's about right. Like, like I heard I was missing key details that finished the picture. And hello, yeah. Jesus, man. Drive safe, by the way, yeah. We... Zeph does, it doesn't even drive. Yeah, I know he doesn't. Yes and no. Yeah. He doesn't have his license, but he has a car. What? Right, Zev? You don't have your license, but you own a vehicle? Man. Yes, I know it's the other way around. Yes and no. Alright, I'm in the canyon, Zeph. Like, I have my license, but I don't have my license because I kind of stopped paying for it because I don't. I haven't been using it. Gotta pay for it. Man. Man. Imagine you had to pay a light. You had to get your walking license. You had to pay to walk. Oh, the south exit is the ruins. We need to go there anyway, so I might as well work my way down. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, yeah. He has to pay for his license? Is that? Buy him. Alright, and then we will use Psychic. Use my license. Because I don't have vehicle. I can't afford vehicle. Zeph, you should Colonel, take a... you're rich. Find me a car. Zeph, you should take a like picture of your license. Vayra. I'll put it on stream. You got Evera. Zeph, send me a picture of your, your driver's license. I'll put it on stream. No, no, no. I'll name, no, I'll no, name no, a Pokemon no. after you. No, 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 no. That's fine. No, come on, it'd be funny. No, 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 no. That's, you know what? How about this? Take a, uh... Yeah, we have feel that. No, take a picture of your credit card, the front and the back. I need the three wacky digits on the back. I'll put it on stream. Zeph, I know that you have trouble with your card on Steam. How about I try your card on my Steam account, and we'll see if it works. I'll try to buy you Pal World using your credit card on my Steam account. That sound good? <laughs> Zeph's completely, completely tuned me out. He's like this motherfucker, dude. I don't even, I don't give a shit. Well, next week's your birthday. Nice. Yeah, I'm planning on streaming uh, anytime I have time. Is the plan. Not gonna expose too much of the other plans that I have planned. Hmm. Zev, you know the uh the the Pokedex plan that I was telling you about though? Man, hold on. Right. Uh Zef wants to play Pal World so bad, but he doesn't own it. And I've played Pal World in the past. I would tell Zeph that, but Zeph is be right back currently. Okay. I will use Psychic.
Sick. Max Elixir. We still need... Uh... Thing. Larvitar. Oh, okay. Oh, we can get the 5% Larvitar after we go to the ruins. And go grab an unknown. Then after the unknown and the Larvitar, well, we're on to finish the post game. I would like to avoid as many trainers as I can. Fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a double battle, right? No, it's not. It's two single ba single battles. Pangula. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh, you're back. Are you back? Yeah, I'm back. You're back? No, I'm not back. That's I'm, crazy. I am replaced yeah, we, by name. Yeah, we said you can borrow his Steam account to play Pal World if he's not playing on Steam. As much as I do appreciate that, yeah, we thank you, but like... You want it on your own um, account. Um, there's also that, but I don't know. I kind of also don't like using other people's accounts for stuff in general. That's fair. Like, I've gotten to in the past, but, like, I was like, no, I'll just, like, stick up my own thing. Yeah, we just gotta, we just gotta buy Zeph Power World instead. One of these days. Gotta gift it to him. And then on top of that, I would probably be playing it a lot. Yeah. So, like... Yowie, unless you want me to just full-on hijack your Steam account so I can play all the time. Uh, his PC is kinda, uh, something. Yeah, I, I don't have enough to get from Tower either, currently. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I need to mostly just upgrade my GPU. But my current one, like, works fine for... Stuff. You need to upgrade your GPU, huh? Sounds like I have a package to send out. <laughs> My I, I can I can include the old one if you want me to. I think that, that was the original plan, right? That was kind of the original plan, but then there was the whole thing with the other person in PC, and then they would likely be using it, but then I think that plan changed. It did like, change, so it? if you would like it, I can send it to you. I think it's a little better than the one you have now, right? Yeah, because isn't that one four? Well, I have two. Yeah. No, no, Zeph would fully, uh, he would hijack your Steam account for, you know, 75 yeah, I, hours at a time. Yeah, I'd play it all day. Yeah, we <laughs> all like, day, you, every you day. Know. All day, all day, I would be up till like four, <laughs> five, eight. <I'm> playing it. <laughs> dude, he has the he has the fucking Reddit behavior, the the Discord mod behavior. Like as long as I have the free time for it, yeah, we. What I would do is like I would wake up and I would start playing it, and then I would play all day, all night, <laughs> until like four in the morning or so. No, that would you'd... literally hijack <laughs> your Steam you No, know, you'd play it all day, all night, until you pass out, and then you'd, pa you'd wake up, pass out at your desk, and you'd just keep playing. <laughs> so, a similar thing actually happened where, um, <laughs> oh where, like, what you call it? Um, so, I was basically playing Breath of the Wild on one person's Switch, 
and I basically hogged their Switch so much. They would go into the living rooms to go play their Switch, but like, my Switch is gone. <laughs> God damn it, and I would just, I just had it like practically constantly in my room as I was playing Zelda all day and all night. <laughs> like the whole time. Yeah, um... Zeph, I, I should have bought it. You know what I saw on Facebook Marketplace, dude? Uh... It was a Switch for $100. It didn't come with the dock, but it came with Tears of the Kingdom. Why Why exactly would you have bought it? To send to you. <laughs> you Man, I, te I already technically have Tears of the yeah, Kingdom. Yeah, but you get it remember. again. You get it digitally, oh, Zev. Yeah. You, did, you get it digitally. You prefer digital games, don't you? Man, no, I prefer physical games. I'm so pissed. You know the only reason I don't have a physical copy of uh, Pokemon Violet, dude? dude. I, I would also be down to play, by the way. Yeah, we... Just because just of what you said. I, I am still seeing chat. <laughs> Do you remember the reason that I don't have a Why copy? would I host? Why would you host or have Turtle host? And why don't you think? For... Um, because remember how I did the first 24 hours of me having uh, Pokemon Violet? It was like yeah. the first 24 hours of release date. And it wouldn't have shipped to me for a few more days. So I had to buy it digitally. Because I wanted to do that stream really bad. The good part is if I ever want to get... Like... Huh? Sorry, continue. Oh, I was just saying if, if I ever want to get... Scarlet or Violet again, the good part is, because they're still readily available, it's only gonna be like 60 bucks, or maybe like 55, rather than like, um, emerald pricing. Oh, you mean with, with like, complete box? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was just gonna say, like, I think you might have mentioned the whole thing with, um, the whole shipping time and whatnot, which is why you got it. Yeah. Oh, I could, I could host, I, I could host the Power World server if we play. Yeah. So Colonel can host, yeah. We. Yeah. The thing is, Power World doesn't really go on sale very often, does it? It does not. Like. It recently went on sale, and I thought it was on sale because of the, uh, the Steam sale. Oh, but that wasn't the case. Because it, like, it started at the same- the sale came on, like, at the same time as the Steam sale started, but, like, the same 25% off continued on for, like, a week past the Steam sale. Mm. Uh, Zeph, there's a problem. I need Rock Smash here, and we don't have the HM Rock Smash. Because... Isn't Rock Smash not an HM? Is it not an HM in this game? I... Oh, wait, no. Rock Smash is an HM. Hold on. What the heck? <laughs> Fuck, man. Alright, I guess I'm flying out of here. Yeah, HM6. Fuck, where do I- where do I get HM6? Is it in, like... It's on one island. Are you fucking serious? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, alright. There, there's... You go to one island and then you surf to a cave. Okay. I guess I'll do that. Oh! What? What? Is that... I think it... I could be wrong, but, um... I think it's the place that you trained at. Oh my god, really? During the randomizer, you know, that you were at earlier. Oh, well, we're gonna go to one <laughs> island. the hot spring. Is it in the hot spring? 
Yeah, you talk to one of the NPCs there, and Bruh. he gives you the thing. Bruh. <laughs> you were right there, pretty sure it's that zigzag spot. It's like past Kindle Road, right? Yeah. If, if it's right, it's where you were healing during the randomizer by, like, all those trainers up That here. would make sense, because this is where Rock Smash, there's, like, more Rock Smash stuff. Also, I like how we're doing this, and Yowie's talking about having a, uh... How are you having a sugar daddy in chat? That's how he got Pal World. You gotta do things for the he, games he that said, you love. He said, he said Swedish, not sugar. Just because they're Swedish fish, and those are but made with sugar. He said he's hella generous, though. Close enough. Man. See, Zeph, you gotta do things for the games you love. Oh, really now? <laughs> yeah. Really, man. <laughs> uh, he's a generous friend. Uh -huh. Yep. Now this is a story all about how... Um... Yeah, you know what? I believe, if I'm correct... A loose copy of Emerald is like 200 bucks. Loose Emerald is like 200? Yeah. What the hell? Yeah. It, the price has gone up. Jeez, man. What the heck? Yeah, so imagine how much an inbox con. You can look it up. Actually, you know, I'll look it up. Didn't you inbox. originally say 300 ish? Three, 400. Uh, let me look at price charting. Yeah, the loose listings go from 175 to uh, 270. Complete Jeez. inbox is 611. Oh, sorry, 615. 615? <laughs> yeah. Complete inbox? Yep. Oh, and if you have the box only, it's 217. The manual's I mean, 30 by itself. And if, I mean, I, I have complete inbox. If you get it graded, some of the graded copies is 4,000. I wonder if I should get mine graded. You get, see, is that, then you can buy Pal World. Man, buy I Pal don't want to And <laughs> see, if you get Pal World, then you can also repay for your license. Man. Also, what do you mean twenty bucks on Walmart, <laughs> Humberton? <laughs> what do you what do you want What do you want about? I think you can actually search up some older games on Walmart still, but oh yeah, Walmart. To be fair, yeah, them. Walmart has that. And then you, there was one time where I uh, I did ask an, an employee just because I thought it'd be funny. I was like, like the one time I went to Walmart, I was like, yeah, so. You guys got this in stock? It says it, it says it's on your website. They're like, we haven't <laughs> carried Skylanders in like seven years. What the fuck? And I just go, I don't know, man. It's on your website. <laughs> <laughs> Zeph doesn't do pirating. He's yeah, man, pirate. I don't pirate. Yo, come on, Zeph. <laughs> Yo, man, ho, no, ho. come on. No. And Yowie, you probably potentially have more money than I do. Do you think you're broke? So you keep spending all your money on $10 Tell me, I, I can... I can give you tips on being broke. I can tell you how little money you people have. Also, we have to bring someone to learn Rock Smash over there. Blobbertum says he wants to be stroked. Zeph's always been unemployed. Man, I not... Man. Also, you can be completely broke, even well employed. Because you keep spending all your money on 10-piece McNuggets. Man, no... Dude, I'm still so... 
one McNugget is not worth a dollar. They're not that, they're like, they're good. They're not that good. So I do a birthday subathon so I can get money. That's fair. Yeah, Zef, Zef, just, you can become affiliate, do that, and we can get you Power World. Man. See? Come on, man. Do you, you know you know those those streams that just have a timer on and that's it? <laughs> we saw people man, subbing to those? Just do that. that. Just do that, man. Zev. Man, no. Why not? It'd be goofy. And no, I don't want to become affiliate to my power world. Uh, should I just take the Rhyhorn and teach it Rock Smash for the purposes that I need? I mean, I guess. I don't know, because we don't need the Rhyhorn to trade. I'll put Dennis into here. I assume Rhyhorn can learn. Don't you need Dennis for flying? Yes, but that's not the point, Zev. <laughs> but how are you going to leave the island to... The know, boat. Then how are you going to fly to where you got to go? Oh, uh, I, you did watch the... So, one of the shorts about when the roaming legendary appears in Leaf Green and Fire Red? Yeah. Where if they, if they roar to... And if they roar you to leave, they just disappear forever. Because of, yeah. of a bug. <laughs> we gotta, like, make sure that doesn't happen. We don't need to catch them, but, like, when we're, you know, if we want to catch one. Damn, yeah, we got 20 bucks that hasn't been exchanged. Damn. I think I got like five bucks in my pocket. <laughs> I got no money in my pockets. No, no, thank you, Yaoi, but thank you for the offer. Yeah. He's allergic to nuts, so he doesn't like, he doesn't like men. Bye. <laughs> that, that's your reasoning, right, Zef? Yep. Man, no. Look at that. He said yes. That's crazy. I, re I read that as pestos, and I'm like, ah, oh, yes. You know, just in case you need $20 for, you know, running out of pestos. Of course. An ice beam, the blossom. Yeah, let's go. How's grinding out streams going? Yowie. Oh, Zef, you know what I'll also probably turn off? Uh, uh, when we do the Elite Four again? Huh. I'm going to turn off, uh, set mode. You know how set mode makes the game just harder in general, but more fun? I mean, that also depends on if... You also consider harder more fun because someone might consider harder less fun. But I do get what you mean. Yeah. But yeah, I know what I know yeah. all of it. Just moves. cause I, I wanna win. <laughs> you know, I wanna win without Having having set to... off is a lot easier. Yeah, because then you can just like immediately counter whatever the fuck they're gonna do. Yeah, you it's it's a lot easier for clean switches. Yeah, you, get, that you're getting, point, your viewer, can... you're getting your viewership up, Yowie. So at that point, you can just be like, oh, they're bringing out this Pokemon, this Pokemon just hard counters that. Easy. 
A good Pokemon choice. Where it's set, you have to uh, take the hit of on switching out. Oh, it's not very effective. Oh, that's a miss. Which, in my experience, is terrible because... Because, like, um, what you call it? So many times I've ha I've switched just to get one hit KO'd to have to switch back again. That's okay, Yari. Yeah. Also, Zep, if we do finish Gen 1's Pokedex and I want to finish off getting the Serving Pikachu, we're going to get to hear the beautiful announcer, dude. He's going to be back. Oh, that's a miss. Oh, and don't forget because if you'd be using the Pikachu from Yellow at all, it has like the actual voice lines. Oh, right. It has... And not the weird like, like Pokemon cries. Yeah. Yeah, it actually says Pikachu and stuff and Pika and stuff. That's like in Pokemon Let's Go, how they made Eevee and Pikachu say their names I did not know that yep you get to hear Eevee say Evoy oops although I, I didn't because I didn't choose Pokemon Let's Go Eevee because I wanted a remake of Yellow and then also the whole surfboard when I actually using surf yeah I'm looking forward to that I don't think we're gonna use Pikachu until we um, get to fight Mewtwo, though, because Pikachu is just not that. Your partner Pikachu is not that good, considering you can't evolve it. You know. I mean. Hydrate. Thank you for the hydrate. I appreciate it. I mean, like, I used Pikachu anyways. I don't know. It can be good. Like Pikachu's not that bad but like you know it's very much a glass cannon pretty much according to the anime though you know pikachu has let has raichu has less speed stat than pikachu aim for the horn yeah man aim for the horn, aim for that, the that, horn. Makes, that makes Pokemon that are immune to thunder attacks suddenly weak to thunder attacks. Aim for the horn! Just like, you know, thunder doesn't work on an onyx unless you hit a water sprinkler, then it's Ex super effective. <laughs> exactly! You know, we, you know what we need? We need actual glass cannons. Like a cannon that actually works. And it's fully made of glass. But like the force of a single shot Stop. breaks it. <laughs> you know... <laughs> they only fired once and that then could just be, <laughs> That could be an interesting... An interesting thing in a game. Have the cannon do like... A fucking insane amount of damage. But it just immediately kills itself. Yeah, you well, can't use it more than once. Yeah, you, you get one shot, and then after that, it just completely shatters. That'd be great. Zeph, write that down. Go to the Google Doc, right? <laughs> write it down. Man, write it down. Google Doc. You go to the Google Doc. <laughs> write it down now. You have a second monitor. Put it, the Google Doc up on the second well, monitor. Well, I also have a King's Rock, so I need to focus. Yeah, well, I'm trying to focus on stream, so, you know. <laughs> For some reason, that made me think that you were streaming my stream, and I went, what the fuck? <laughs> Excuse you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> a little so earlier, when you when you left to look for the thing, I don't even remember what you were looking for, because you were saying it was hot. I said that your stream is mine now, and I hijacked it. Because exactly. you left. Also, should I focus on getting the Larvitar right now, or should I just go get the uh, Unknown? I mean, which is closer? 
Larvitar is right here, but unknown is like directly down. So we can go down and then back up. Well, I mean, it's easier to get a unknown, I guess. Yeah, because I mean, Larvitar is also a 5% chance, but at the ruins, what well, you know, with the ruins, just like everywhere is unknown. Unless you're trying to specifically get the question mark one. I'm not. <laughs> Should we shiny hunt for the <laughs> for the blue question mark unknown? Oh my god, no. <laughs> <laughs> um wait a minute, we don't have to like do anything in the ruins to make them spawn, right? I know you do in like isn't it in gold and silver you have to? I'm afraid I do not know. I could have swore that you just... You just walk? Go in and then they're there. Uh, what one? What chamber is this? But I also haven't Dilly. played silver for a while and I played crystal a lot more recently. And right. that was the randomizer nuzlocke. So, so like... Dilford has a 40% chance to be a P, 20% to be J, 20% to be L, uh, 6% to be I I don't know what that one is. It looks like a key. But it's not an E, so Yeah, some of the letters like I can't tell which one it is. Yeah, I can't Hell, but although in the picture the ruins are lit up so I feel like I have to do something um, I'm gonna look up Ah, shit. Okay. Oh, Alright, so you know where the ruby is, which is on Island 6, where there's, like, a bunch of... There's, like, three dots that you have to use cut on or some shit. Right? What? Pretty much in the area where we get the sapphire, right? Okay. There is a puzzle that involves moving seven boulders, and then once that puzzle is solved, then the ruin has unknown. The ruins have unknown. Okay. So, I mean, I guess Larvidar first? Yep. Oh, wait, no, it's in the canyon. Wait a minute. Oh, I know what part of the canyon it's in. Small cave. Okay. Hang on. Well, we need to go back anyway. So I was wrong. I got two of the caves confused. Man, I like how the last, like, three Pokemon left. One of them requires a puzzle. One of them requires the entire post-game and Elite Four to be done. And then one is a 5% chance. We can just do Larvitar first. And you're here, so that means we get better luck, right? What? For Larvitar, we get better luck. What do you mean? It's your favorite Pokemon. What about that? It makes it more lucky to get it. It's going to be higher than a 5% chance. Because you're here. I, 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 like, missed, like, the very first couple of words you said or something. I said we're going to go for... Um, Larvitar first, even though it's only a 5% chance, but because you're here, it's going to be a higher chance, because it's your favorite Pokemon. Oh, yes. Jesus Christ. 
<laughs> Seth's losing his- he's just like sitting in his chair, just no thoughts in his brain. Man. Not one thought. I have thoughts, dude. You have thoughts? <laughs> you have thoughts? <laughs> Why did you start talking after that? <laughs> You're like, you have thoughts? You have <laughs> thoughts <laughs> for <laughs> <I'm> fucking dying. <laughs> yeah, Sonic's like cool. I'm to be the fucking ace trainer. Man, imagine liking Psyduck. You would have to beat, like, Stadium so many times. Oh my god. Dude, I can't believe that. That's fucking insane. Because remember, there's only like... You either have to beat the Elite Four with the team for it to go into the Hall of Fame, or you have to beat a cup. And there's only like some Pokemon that can be eligible for some cups. Like, that's just garbage. So, Zaf, yeah, when won't... is your 100% playthrough of Stadium? Well, I've, I've already beaten it, so, you know, that's close enough. No, you gotta gotta get all the Pokemon in the Pokedex for Stadium. Yeah. Oh, hell no. Why not? Hell no. And then and then on top of that, like let's let's just assume someone is doing a hundred percent. Like, does that count specifically even doing round two? I mean, round two. What? What, what two. do you mean? What do I mean? Round two. I forget what that is. Is that just like doing it again? Yeah, but like it's supposed to be a bit harder than it was the first Dude, time. Dude, it's already wait, it's already hard the first time because the NPCs cheat. Yeah, it, is, it actually is kind of hard. God damn it! But there is round two where like I think it's supposed to be harder because like they change stuff around more specifically. Like mm. like the teams are all different. Specifically, you know what I love the fact of. No, I don't know if the AI is plays better or anything, but yeah, I I believe Ram Two is supposed to be a bit harder. I I love the fact that based on the name of the Pokemon in Stadium One, it changes their color palette. Do you remember that, Zev? I think. Yeah, the color palettes changed based on their name. I don't know if that was intentional or not. I don't think it was. Oh, that's interesting, Yowie. Bruh, cool trainer. Oh, right, ace trainers don't exist. They're called cool trainers in this gen. Or at least in oh. this game. It's also because, like, in the anime, Psyduck is really weird. For some reason, like, you know, if it gets, like, a headache, it becomes this psychic god. <laughs> what, you don't... If you get a headache, you don't become a psychic god? Man, you know what I mean. I remember, like, one of the episodes, I think it was, like, a Kingler or something crushing, like... Psyduck's head or something, and everyone's kind of like, oh Dude, no, we're dancing. this is terrible. And then afterwards, I think Misty was like, actually, no, this is good because it's going to hurt his head, and then he's going to, like, freaking become OP. <laughs> did I just heal my Pokemon? <laughs> what? I did, a, I did a lucky chancy dance with a random man in a house, and now all my Pokemon are healed. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. But yeah, that's part of why, like, Misty Psyduck never lost in, like, the original ones, because it would just keep ending up in situations where it would have, like, a headache or its head crushed or something, and then it would just beef up its psychic powers by some crazy, insane amount. What, when you get your head crushed, you don't get crazy psychic powers? Man, no. No? Bam. Guess that's only for some of us, huh? Man. Also, the freaking the the be getting the marsh badge was really weird. I thought. 
because like Ash, he was, it was like, yeah, you know, if you're gonna beat Sabrina, you know, you gotta use a ghost type to beat Psychic. So he goes to, like, get a ghost type, but he doesn't even catch any of them. He just asks for their help. He's like, Gengar, so can you help me beat Sabrina? I need the gym badge, you know? And... Yeah, you know, you don't, oh. don't catch the Pokemon. Just ask the wild Pokemon, hey, can you just come with me real quick? Yeah, he just asks it for help, and then he goes to fight her, and then, like, I think he was, like, hoping they would show up. And he was like, oh, man, they didn't show up, what the heck, why didn't, I thought they were gonna help me, like, like what were you supposed to catch them, first of all? Wait, was that the one then, where Sabrina puts them in a dollhouse? And then they show up eventually, and then they just make Sabrina laugh, so then she's like, here's the badge. <laughs> I fucking love the way that Ash gets his badges, dude. <laughs> he didn't even fight her, man. <laughs> Wait, that's the one where Sabrina puts them in a dollhouse, right? Yeah, th they yeah. put them in, like, um, freaking Misty and Brock. And then instead of catching a ghost type, you know, he's like, yeah, can you help me, please? Can you help me? And then, like, he, he has to, like, get help from her dad, like, some advice, yep. some random dude who turns oh, out look, to Larvitar. be Oh, look, Larvitar. And then he does save them. I can't believe... My whole thing is like, S Sabrina laughs and just goes, Alright, here you go, sport. You've done a good job. No wonder the Elite Four, like, k kicked Ash's ass, right? He didn't... He Wait, wait why did he lose the Elite Four? In... I... Well, remember, the... The Elite Four doesn't exactly exist. I mean, I know that the first time Ash won the Elite Four was in Alola, which is Sun and Moon. Well, well, it's not the exact thing, because it's, it's like a whole tournament thing based on, you know, like, everyone who's kind of gone into yeah. the thing. I mean, I know Ash lost once because the Charizard he got just, like, refused to listen to him. Therefore, he lost. Which is so... That's so fucking... Man. That's such a lame way to lose. Oh, shit. I don't shit. even remember when that was. Because at some point, his Charizard does start listening to him. But, like... It wasn't listening during the fight with Blaine. It just really wanted to beat Magmar. So I know there was also that. I don't even remember how he gets the Earth Badge. That one was kind of weird. I remember he shows up and Team Rocket is there. Because Giovanni left and he wanted them to stay behind to... Like, actually take care of the gym for him. And then... Ash was like, what are you guys doing here? Are you up to another scheme? And then it's like, no, we're temporary gym leaders and stuff. And that, one, that, that whole section was kind of weird. You know what was kind of weird? Huh? Beauty and the Beach. That episode. I don't even fully remember that episode. That's the one... Beauty and the Beach is the one where they have to... Uh, Misty enters into a, a beauty competition because they need money because they, like, fucked over an owner's restaurant. And the owner's like, God damn it, you're gonna pay me back. And then Jesse and James enter the tournament as well, and Jesse's wearing the pair of fake tits that can get bigger. That one... It was banned... It was very quickly like, oh shit, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, oh. it's, it's the one with James having massive titties. And, and him saying something along the lines of like, you know, I bet you hope to have a pair of these one day. And it's like, my guy, she's like 12. <laughs> to be, I mean, isn't Jesse and James, I think they're both like 16. According to like the wiki. They're like 16, really? Yeah, hang on. Um, what? Jesse they're really and... they can't be that young no man 
but I kind of don't remember that episode. In the games, Jesse and James are supposed to be the same age as Ash. No. What? No. No, I don't know. That's not true. What? But, but then, apparently, according to a special CD only available in Japan, Jesse and James are in their 20s. I like how it says in the second episode of the anime. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> wait a minute. So, what do you mean in the second? And what about the first one? Are they not in their 20s? Wait a minute. So, uh, apparently, but some people are saying that the creator said that Jesse and James are 15 and Brock is also 15 and Ash is 10 and Misty's 12. Brock is 15. 15? I call BS on that. What? You think Brock Brock's... is like 35, man. <laughs> no, he's just a 15-year-old that's good at making jelly donuts. <laughs> There's no mm. way. Yeah. <laughs> I call BS. Seriously, Brock looks older than Bob C and James. How is he 16? I don't know. Is that what it says? It says that he's 16? Didn't, isn't that what you said? Like six? Yeah, that's what. That, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna. I call BS on it. How old is Rock? Like I thought, Misty was at least maybe 15. fourteen. He's been established that he's fifteen. He's fifteen? What the hell? I literally thought he was like wait thirty. A minute. Wait, years wait, 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 wait. This is from Wikipedia. For the anime, not only was Brock established to be 15, but he was given a wider range of expressions. In addition, notes for the animation team detail how to handle his eyebrows, stating to not let the chopsticks touch. <laughs> they can't write that as a note to the animation team! What the hell? I thought, I thought he was like some 30 year old and was basically being a guardian to like this 10 year old boy and this like 14 year old girl to make sure nothing happens and no he, like, he just he's just obsessed adult, with wait remember he he's obsessed he's... with pokemon breeding too well this ex this explains his like whole thing for nurse, nurse joy. joy and officer jenny because he he's yeah he puberty, likes man. <laughs> Wait a minute, hang on. How old is... Uh... You really, man. That's why he's always been like, Oh, man, Officer Jenny, Nurse Joy. Oh, yeah, Nurse Joy is between... The... Because there's, like, the whole family. It's between 18 and 25. And Brock's 15, hitting on a potentially 25-year-old. Every, every single time. Also, yeah, we talking about, like the anime ending crying for that part what about the pikachu episode yeah what about the butterfree episode yeah or that one dude when ash he's like trying to ditch pikachu when he's like trying not to cry and the and then pikachu's like looking all sad kind of like wondering what's going on he's like just leave that yeah just leave so pikachu yeah brock is 15 and ash like is 10 he's 12 away. Brock being 15 doesn't sound right. He doesn't he look might. 15, dude. Yeah, he does not. <laughs> no, he looks... He looks old. Yeah, there, there's no way he's just, like, 15. But, like, I mean, what the heck, Also, man? is it just me, or does that animation note sound a little weird that they gave to the animation team? About his eyebrows? Don't let the chops... Don't let the... <laughs> yeah... <laughs> God, like that was definitely the American. Like, wh like, what? I don't know. That just sounds so, so strange, dude. All right. Uh, unknown time. We got P. Should I re-roll for J? Or should we stick with P? Do you have an opinion? I mean. up to you no uh p has a 40 percent chance j has a 20 percent. we'll do we'll do one roll just because i think it'd be funny but or l l would be funny too oh we got the j sick you know what that stands for so you know what the j stands for 
you, Jane. Looking cool, Joker. <laughs> what? <laughs> it stands for all that. First of all, that little sentence starts with an L, not a J. No, no, it stands for Joker, and Joker is short for looking cool, Joker. <laughs> That's not even... <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. You still have the full name, you're just adding stuff to it. <laughs> I was adding stuff to it, the short version. Because... Joker... Joker is short for looking cool, Joker. That's just weird that the unknown just went to the box, dead, dot, 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 <laughs> Yeah, dot, the Larvitar went there too, I need to switch him out. Um... Do you know where to get a dragon scale? I know we don't get the... We get the upgrade? The upgrade that we get is from the Team Rocket hideout, which is past the post game, but we still need a dragon scale, and I don't know where we get the dragon scale. And I got an ad. I don't hurt. I did not hear what you said about the dragon scale. You're gonna have to wait. Brother. What? I didn't hear that. I can't brother. hear you because I got an ad. I got an ad. I can't hear you. Brother. Can't hear you. Brother. Yeah, brother. Got the ad's gone. Brother. I can hear you again. Why are you saying brother? Brother. brother. Alright, so. Um. Do you know where to get a dragon scale from? Because I know where we get the upgrade. I. Do not? I know that Dratini and stuff can be holding them sometimes, but there must be a better way. Is there not, like, an act? I swear there's probably like a drop, not like a drop, but you, an item just placed somewhere, usually wherever you can catch a dragon type Pokemon, typically seems to be the, the thing. Dragon scale leaf green. What do we need the dragon scale for? Is what, what what's the evolution? Oh, it's sea seeking. To do a thing. That's what you need it for. <laughs> I actually did not remember that it was for seeking. I think it's for seeking. Um, we can get it in water. Oh wait, no, isn't it for? Wait. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be for, um, Seedra to see King? Yeah. Or, what, what the hell? Hold on. Frick, man, I'm forgetting this. The other, the other form. Horsey to Seedra to frickin' thing. Yeah, Horsey to Seedra to Kingdra. Also, Trade I... While holding a dragon scale. I will... Be right back. I'm gonna go quickly... Um... Use the restroom. Man using the West restroom.
I'm back. Go back. I thought you were gonna say good morning. Um. Oh, we went to Six Island. Six Island is for Dragon Scale. I don't know where it is. I know it's on Water Path. I don't know where. Uh, Water Path. Grassy area go south. Do we go south? No. Uh this is, this is small sliver of land. Alright, I guess we go south then. Are you talking about Omega Ruby? Flobbertum? Omega Ruby is good. Oh, there it is. Sick, we got the dragon scale. We want to put that onto seed cedra right Beth or horsey cedra which one yeah it cedra evolves into C into, okay. into uh, gary not the king sea king is goldine So like Oh, what avatar, Yami? I'm just wondering who I should put the uh the thing onto. Or the the scale onto. Uh, dragon scale. Do I even have her? Oh wait, no, we don't transfer over the seeking, or sorry, the, you know what I mean, right, Zef? We, 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 we don't even catch it in this game, we just bring over the, the dragon scale, I believe. Hold on. That's the stream avatars. Yeah, I, I'm i still figuring out how they'll work with this layout. That's why they're not on currently. Jesus Christ. Oh, remember Icy Icefall Cave that we went into? Gotta, gotta go back. Hmm. 
No. Ice fall cave. Walk through image. Or, uh, not walk through. Just be fire really fast. Doesn't really matter. Whoa. Um. Jesus Christ. Okay. So we have to go- Oh, you know what we're getting from Icefall Cave? We're getting a new HM. Well, new is a bit of a stretch, but we're getting, um... We're here to get HM... 8? 7? HM7. you're talking about yaoi that was not on my stream that was here on colonel's stream yeah it was the stream avatars i don't know if you already said all that uh, i kind of thing. did all right i go up and i think i fall onto this one maybe because that's that's when we're also messing with the uh the boss fights oh yeah And then there's like a few different classes. At first I didn't see the ADHD. I just seen the memory of a pigeon plus. And I was like, the hell's a pigeon plus? <laughs> oh it's the new it's the new uh, upgrade for the pigeon. You gotta you gotta get the uh gotta get the new premium package. Dude the pigeon plus. Also, um, by the way. Uh, we need a Pokemon to learn Waterfall, and I don't really- Waterfall's not that good of a move, if I remember correctly. Waterfall is a good move. It is? Yeah, screw you, man. It's- okay. Cause, like, first of all, there's a lot of special water-type moves. Like, a lot. There's barely physical moves, and the ones that there are are kind of, like- Oh, is like... it physical? Yeah, it's a physical, so it's good on using, um, for, like, Gyarados, because then you get the stab, but also uses its attack. And it has, like, a power of, like, 75 or something, at least. So, I, think. I shouldn't put it on Not So Cool, though, because he already has Surf. Yeah, probably not on Not So Cool. And plus, we already have, like, you know, like, like his moveset's already finished. Like, Surf was just part of his moveset, because Surf is good. Yeah, like, Waterfall is good on, like, Gyarados. If I have a Gyarados, like, I'll throw it on. Yeah, like, Crab Hammer, for example, is, like, good. But, like, only Krabby gets... Krabby and Kingler get, like, Crab Hammer, pretty much. And that's, like, a physical move. Yeah. No, Shush, yaoi. <laughs> I don't know. No, here's the thing. He's saying that, but does he remember our like fucking 
eight hours of using that calculator, dude? That was way more than this. <laughs> oh my god. The I think it was in total. It was like fucking, maybe not eight, maybe like four hours of that calculator. <laughs> it was a lot. Uh, who should I throw it on then? Uh, is, is Lapras good? Physical? 56. What do you think? Uh, should I or not, Zef? What? Give Lapras Waterfall. I mean, Lapras it would work, because Lapras is, like, as you can see, pretty much... <laughs> okay, Lapras is supposed to be more equal than that, for, like, attack and special. But, like, yeah, Lap it would work on Lapras. All right. Because Lapras can kind of go either way for moves. See, but yeah, I feel, I oh, feel like already the, has surf. I feel like a majority of freaking water moves are for special and not physical. See, Yowie, yeah, I would say you should stream Pokemon. I mean, you could, but you probably have to emulate it, most likely. I only say that because. You could do what I did, but it's, you know, more expensive. So I would just probably emulate it. Yeah. The only reason, the thing is, for me, I would never do a challenge like this if I was emulating it. Just because, you know what I mean, Zeph? Like, completing the national decks on an emulated game feels so... I don't know. To me, it doesn't feel right. I kind of get that. It feels like it does- I didn't do it. Almost. I don't know. Alright. Uh, by the way, Crush Lime is gonna know Surf and Waterfall, but I think that's fine, because we're not really, like, using it. Oh shit. It has some good moves. What do I get it? Like, look, look at Waterfall. An 80. Oh, that's pretty good. Should I get rid of Body Slam, then? Oh, it's 80. Okay, so it's slightly stronger. But, like, you see what I mean? How strong is Surf, by the way? Huh? Uh, How Surf is 95. Team? Okay. Definitely stronger. But, like, you see what I mean about, like, Waterfall actually not being that bad? Yeah. Should I replace, uh, Body Slam, then? Um... Or Parish Song. I don't want to get rid of Psychic. What does Parish Song do again? Uh, Paris Song, after three turns, um, any, any Pokemon that heard the song faints, no matter the health. So long it was, as it wasn't switched out. I mean... It's kind of situational, but... Body Slam, I personally like to have on Lapras, because that gives it a physical move as well, to... Because, like... It can physically attack, and then Body Slam has a chance of paralyzation. Yeah, I'll just do that. Because here's the other thing, is like, I'm not really planning on using this Lapras, you know? But I don't want to fuck up its moveset. Like, if it was a random water type I just got, I wouldn't really care, but... Yeah. And you know the reason we needed that? We gotta go up the waterfall... Well, I mean, what else would you use Waterfall for? That's really crazy to think that if you, like, take a look at this, you see how it looks vertical? Right? Yeah. It's literally just flat. This whole thing is flat, which is really funny. So that's essentially just, like, current. It's really weird to think of it that way. No, we're not doing a Nuzlocke or a Sleeplock. We already finished the sleep block on this file. We're catching all the, uh... We're completing Pokemon Emeralds National Decks, but Pokemon Emeralds National Decks requires 
like six games. Yeah, you have to catch stuff from Leaf Green and Leaf Green, which also requires you to beat it. <laughs> yeah, so that's what that's well, why. I mean, I... Te technically, you could beat Leaf Green or Fire Red, for example, because either no. would get you Mewtwo. No, you you need Leaf Green because Leaf Green's the only one out of the seven games from Gen Three that has Slowpoke. But no, I'm saying for beating it. Oh, okay, yeah, I was saying for. Yeah, no, I okay. meant for just specifically beating it. It could be either one of them, but you do need Leaf Green for yeah. stuff. So, yeah, we, after we're done with Leaf Green, which we only need uh, one more Pokemon, we then go on to Colosseum, then XD, then Ruby, which is only for, like, two Pokemon, and then we start Emerald. Yeah, and Colosseum and XD, you, like, actually have to beat them. Yep. Colosseum, you have to 100%. Yeah, to get specifically... Oh, look, it's Lorelei. Keep your filthy hands off my Pokemon in the cave. Do as I say or you'll have... Or you'll have to answer to me, too. Aw, oh, shut it, lady, and leave us be. <laughs> Dude, that was us when we fought Lorelei. Dude, just shut it. <laughs> shut up. Leave us alone. Don't let your glasses get all steamed up. Captain, what are you doing here? No, we can catch up later. Right now, I need your help. Help me kick these poachers out before they do anything else. They've been catching Pokemon here and selling them off. What Pokemon is so special here that you've been selling off that people can't just go get themselves? And why can't Lorelai just do it? She's like one She's of the like, toughest yeah. the elite folk. Are you she ready? You'll take that one, please. Problems. What? Who says we can't do what we want with some Pokemon we catch? Oh, I guess technically speaking, like, some of these are, like, out of the region, so they're probably charging, like, really high prices, you know what I mean? I don't know, is that illegal? Is it illegal to, like, sell Pokemon unless you own, like, a pet store? Do pet stores exist? I mean... I, Wait. I do not know. Wait, hang on, Zev, you've seen Pokemon Rusty, right? I have, yes. <laughs> Uh, I miss dogs. Yeah, we all miss dogs. Oh my. <laughs> God, that's so funny. Rusty Deli. Rusty Deli. I need to rewatch that, dude. I've spent my whole life collecting HMs or er, TMs. You're gonna need this one. He's like, oh, I already have that one. What? Yeah, I bought them all from the kiosk at the mall. <laughs> 59 years wasted. <laughs> Alright, Zubat. Time to use Surf. <laughs> One of these has to be a Moonstone. Just chucking fucking rocks at the Kakuna. We didn't plan on this. Well, you know what? She doesn't even need my help. Like, it's Lorelei, right? <laughs> Take Where have you taken the captured Pokemon? Oh, yeah, she said they're despicably weak. Why did she need your help? Yeah, I'm smashing your ring once and for all. Oh, okay, like, like a criminal ring. I was like, what What ring? What <laughs> ring doorbell? No, no way, I'm not telling you that. You won't confess, we'll deep freeze <laughs> you. Oh, shit. If you don't confess, guess what? You're gonna die! <laughs> My Lapras is ferocious. Is furious for what you've done to its friends. Go Lapras. I wait, wait, dude, she's gonna ice beam the... Uh, dude, she's gonna kill someone. Zeph, you see this? Since... So, like, I've seen wild Pokemon, like, attack people <laughs> in anger, but, like, I've never seen anyone, you know, just... Dude, I haven't even seen Team Rocket do that, and Lorelai's out here being an Elite Four member going, You're not gonna tell me? Alright, I'll fucking kill you. She's literally ordering a Pokemon to attack a person. <laughs> it's in the Rocket, yeah. There, I said it, we'll be going now, but I don't... But I'll doubt you'll make it to the Rocket Warehouse. Hee 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 hee. Wait a minute. Then again, then again, I mean, Ash on numerous occasions has <laughs> Team Rocket's has, has done again. that to 
to to bring in Team Rocket. True. I like how I like how we see Lorelai trying to ice beam Team Rocket. And we're like, yo, chill, calm down. What are you doing? But then, like, you know, Ash is here. Like, yeah, Pikachu Charizard flamethrower. Oh, yeah. Pikachu Thunderbolt. Thank you for the Dude, there have been numerous times when, like, they've combined attacks. <laughs> Lorelai says, uh, I was born and raised on, born and raised here on these islands. I had no idea that these horrible criminals were loose here. Oh, by the way, you know how the reason that we couldn't get, can't get into the rocket warehouse is because the door is locked and we need a password? Can she just not, could, she could just ice beam the door, right? I mean, Maybe. What? Oh. That was it. So we do actually go to Six Island, but we had to do like that story beat before we could actually do anything. That's fantastic. Visit Six Island and find the dotted hole. Whatever you say, boss. You ever do that? You ever find the you ever have to find the dotted hole, Zav? No. Damn. All right, we're almost there. Then we then we can go fight Mewtwo, right? <laughs> right, right. Wait, actually, do we have to do the Elite Four again? Is it like mandatory? I mean, didn't it say because you tried to go up to the cave and then there was a dude in the way? And it, I think he was talking about having done a great feat to quote him or something like that. And then you searched it up and it said you had to like do the Elite Four again. I'm gonna double check. Something like that. Oh, no. Uh, along with the uh, along with defeating the Pokemon League and giving Celio two gemstones. So, no, we just have to finish the post game. Then Mewtwo is uh, accessible. Well, after you do this, we'll find out. True. Because, like, if you go back to thing and they're still there, then that means you would have to refight them. Four Island? We can fly to Five Island? Oh, on the back of our Pidgey? Flying across islands? Yeah, it's like, it's like that that one comic with frickin' the Scyther and stuff. Yep. And then you just see... Gary slash blue on the back of the Pidgey. <laughs> the Spiro. Alright. Alright, we're on Six Island and then we go we go where on Six Island? Um we go In the ruined valley at the south end of the island. Six Island. Oh, so we need to go into the ruined valley, okay. Seth! We're getting stoned! Unlike getting stoned in the 1800s, where it meant something very different. What sense you think? I think I know the images. Yep. I just, I just, I just cut the thing. Also, if I'm right, stoning, I think, still exists. Really? Yeah, I think it actually still exists. That's, like, not like, like, great. <laughs> yeah. Like, dude. Because, because, like, I was actually talking to someone about that. <laughs> I think talking to some someone about stoning? That sounds like something ago. we would talk about, actually. 
unless it was with you i don't know it when i was been. talking with whoever it was yeah that was like months ago so i only kind of don't fully remember because at some point i just remembered asking about like around when it happened and then the other person was searching it up and it's like i think it said that some places it still exists i think that was with me hang on I th I th that sounds really familiar Jesus. In recent times, stoning has been legal or customary punishment in Iran, United uh, Arab Emirates, Fatah, okay, uh, Saudi Arabia, Stan, Yemen, North Nigeria, or Northern Nigeria, Afghanistan, tribal parts of Pakistan, um, although it's, and then a bunch of other places, but it's rarely carried out. Like, man. The fact that it's still legal in some of those places, yeah. yeah. You know, even if it's not being done, really, the fact that it's still legal is like just damn. Yeah, like it's just the thing that like it might still happen in those places. Like occasionally they go, man, you know what? This person's done a crime. Let's like throw stones at them till they're dead. It's just like yeah. <laughs> Guys, like, it's brutal, man. They need to, you know, come up with a new thing instead of stoning, just bouldering. You just drop a single boulder. boulder. Yeah, it's like that one RuneScape quest where you drop a boulder onto a unicorn because you need to get part of the unicorn. Oh my god, what the hell? You roll a, you roll a, you're in a cave and you roll a boulder into a unicorn cage to like. Smush it, because you need part of the unicorn. Well, I wouldn't know anything about that, because I'm not a member, so... You know. Yeah. That doesn't sound like no free-to-play stuff. Um... It is interesting how in RuneScape, a lot of the quests require you to, like, get someone drunk to get information. <laughs> Yet kissing a frog that's too uncomfortable that's what i'm saying dude crushing everyone... a unicorn with a nah, boulder yeah man that reminds me of the whole like everyone when they change the thing where to kiss the frog to turn her back into a princess or turn him back into a prince and they changed it so like you could just like touch the frog instead and everyone's like now where is my option to grope the frog <laughs> <laughs> or people, people were people were saying that they hope that they add being able to to like fuck the frog and they hope it gives agility XP. Agility? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the hell? I don't know, man. People, people, people are strange. Agility XP. Oh my god. Come on, man. The new new agility training method just dropped. That is horrible. Oh, yeah, but you can... The good part is I'm glad that they changed some of the random events to be able to give you um, EXP lamps if you have all of, like, the cosmetics and stuff. Kind of like how you can now turn frog tokens into EXP lamps. I did not know that. Also, yeah, it's pretty sick. You'll be right back. You'll be right back. Yeah. Alright. A burly man has spotted me. Yeah. yeah I agree, yeah, it is it is horrible. You know, Stanley. Stanley and his graveler. Well guess what? I also have a graveler. Oh no, I have a golem. With earthquake. Let's go. Onyx? Well, guess what? I have Earthquake. Rock and Roll be getting the levels, dude. Graveler? Well, guess what? I have Earthquake.
All right. And I was like, eat brunch. It's six thirty-eight. So yeah, you go. You go eat. We have to use cut on the door, I think. Uh, cut. Alright, dotted hole. We gotta go down. That doesn't help me. I need a walk through. Okay, go up. Back. Welcome. <laughs> up. Left. Right. And then down. There it is. Sapphire. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. God, I can't mute myself. <laughs> I guessed right. I was right in tailing you. I knew there was a sapphire here, so it belongs to me. I'll sell it to Team Rocket for serious money. Don't, don't, don't glare at me like that. If you want it back, why don't you get it after I sell it? I'll even tell you the password to Team Rocket's warehouse. The warehouse password I know is yes, nah, chancy. I'm done. Don't think badly of me. I- What? Why? I'm so confused. Hang on. Scientist comes down, steals thing, tells me the password to Team Rocket's hideout, and goes, Well, you could just give it back after I sell it to them. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he, want, he wants the money, and then... Why doesn't he just rob the warehouse if he knows the password? He only knows half the password. That's why we did this. We only knew half the password. Oh, right. Yeah, there's two passwords. I forgot about that. Alright. We will now... We'll heal up our Pokemon. We'll go to Island 5, where the warehouse is. Um, should we, t I guess, I'm gonna take the Meowth out of our party, because I only needed it for cut for that one part. Also, Zef, before I start streaming Coliseum, I need to figure out how I can also listen to the music. You know what I mean? Because Coliseum has really good music, and I don't just want to be sitting here in, you know, silence. Headphones. I, I, I guess? Headphones, just headphone jack in TV. You should use a TV with headphone jack. I think my monitor has a headphone jack. Because I'm, I'm using you... a monitor. That's the thing. Why don't you use an actual TV? I don't have one. What? What happened to the one TV that you got? Remember? Mm, the CRT? Yeah. I... Like, I'm not using a CRT because I'm using an upscaler, so I'm using an uh, HDMI cord for the GameCube. I don't know. We'll figure it out. What? Huh? Because here's the thing. So... There must be a way that I can also oh, right, listen to yeah, no, never mind. Right? I was, I was thinking of a thing. Because, like, I currently have earbuds in for my mic, but there must be ways... There must be a way, right? That I can listen well, to it? Well, what I do is I have an actual TV and I plug my headphones into my TV. Oh, for when you use your capture card? Yeah. Interesting. That's actually really good to know. Um, my, my TV has a headphone jack. The thing is, 
I don't think I can do that for my DS capture card. You know why? Why? Because, here, I'll show it on stream. The, um, the headphone jack is being used as the audio output for OBS. I feel like you could do that with a splitter. That's true. Honestly, I might consider doing that. You know why? Because so like, you can actually hear anything. If so we're gonna be playing, play. if we're gonna be playing this much Gen Three, I would like to not be sitting in silence. And also, like, <laughs> what if someone's like, "Oh yeah, you know, you played all Gen Three. What's your favorite music from?" And I just go, "I don't know. I was in silence the whole time." You know what I mean? I don't want that. But yeah, you if, since the audio. In like, the output is just from the he headphone jack. You could just use a splitter. That should probably work just fine. Just use a phone? What do you mean, just use a phone? I'm not gonna be listening to stream on my phone. That's gonna be garbage. Wait a minute. Um, uh, Splitters aren't that expensive, are they? I, th I think for, like, a headphone splitter, I think it's, like, just five bucks or something. Well, uh, headphone it. splitter... Oh yeah, the the two way audio splitter. Yeah, it, it the thing it like just splits it into like two jacks. It's like two, a single one, three, and then it has thing, and it just splits into two. Uh, a two way audio it. splitter. I'm seeing it for like a two way. Yeah, it's like seven bucks. Yeah, yeah I I and might. It, and it's... And it's like just basically a Y-shaped cord, right? With, with a two. Yeah, pretty much. I, I was looking at this one specifically just because it was the first one that popped up. Oh wow, a small Amazon link for once. That's fucking crazy. I was looking at that one. Yeah, stuff like this. Then there's ones where it's like the actual board is like an actual like this one here I'll just show you real quick wow what, what, like that's not short <laughs> yeah kind of like this one I was visually oh, yeah. thinking of that would work too um but yeah some, it's some, common guy like, yeah they're they're pretty cheap in general I have kind of splitters yeah. The only thing is, I would have to find another pair of headphones. Because, like, these ear, Like, another pair of earbuds, I mean. Because these earbuds are really, really nice, actually. Like, they're... They're really good earbuds. And I have to have one earbud in for my microphone. Just because then I can hear, like, desktop audio. Like, uh, sound alerts for people following. Uh, you on Discord. Stuff like that. And then I'd have to have the other ear in to hear the game. Oh, that's true. I don't or, have another pair of earbuds. Or instead of earbuds, you could have, like, headphones to go over top. I could. And then, like, just double the headphones, basically. Because <laughs> you can essentially stack headphones and earbuds. I mean, true. I kind of honestly prefer earbuds like this just because they're a lot i feel like i can stream longer with earbuds in than headphones on yeah i can't do that only because i just have the issue of earbuds will not stay in my ears get good ones dude like get the grippy mm -hmm. ones that grip the inside of your ears yeah even those don't stay well all right have you ever heard of a thing called Gorilla Glue, Zeph? <laughs> Man, I'm not just gonna glue earbuds into my ears. <laughs> the hell? Dude, it'll work. They'll stay. They'll stay in your ears, man. Like, like the ones that... Like, I have the one that has the piece that actually, like, grips the inside oh, of your uh, ear. this thing? Here, wait. Like, that little... Yeah, that. Yeah. Like, even that doesn't stay so well. It works better than regular earbuds. 
Yeah. But like regular, regular earbuds, I can just sit still and not move and it'll eventually fall out of my ear. Yeah, regular earbuds, like without that like little piece, I don't they're not comfortable. You know what I mean? They're not as comfortable as that the one with that little piece. I don't know, Zeph, do some workouts. Make your ear canals tighter or something. I don't know. <laughs> that doesn't work like that. How do you know? Oh, man. All right, we're in the rocket warehouse. Oh, great. The spin tiles are back, Zev. Yeah, so typically I prefer actual headphones. Also, at least it's not Gen 1 spinning tiles. True. You know, so you're not going to be here for a million years. Yeah, they're Maybe. actually, like, really fast. All right, remember, we have to get the upgrade in this warehouse, too. Uh, okay, wait, no, I need to go around. I, I saw my mistake. That's too far, but we'll take this. Oh, found the upgrade. <laughs> All right. I don't have a map for this place up, so maybe I should. A map probably would be nice, just because you can't fully see where the things go. Yeah. Rocket warehouse. Shit, she looks away. Ooh. Fucking get juked, idiot. <laughs> Fucking dumbass. That was the wrong tile. I misclicked. I was looking at the wrong part of the map. Wait, no I wasn't. That, that should have been correct. Alright, that's fine. Whatever, we'll fight you. Oh, now your Pokemon look strong. You willing to sell them? Oh, you wanted a battle? <laughs> How much you offering? I got a fucking dumb electric bird who's been an absolute bitch. How much do you want? <laughs> it's also legendary too, don't forget to upcharge. True. Just give me one billion dollars and it's all yours. So, I know you wouldn't be here if I streamed, um, like, Pokemon Heart Gold or Soul Silver. Would you be here if I streamed, um, Gold and Silver? Like, normal Gen 2? No. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. But, to be fair, the reason I don't want to start Gold and Silver is I want to have Stadium. You already that, have Stadium. Uh, stadium 2. No, you already said Stadium, so... I want know. Stadium 2. Why does it have to be so expensive, Zeph? Why'd you make it so expensive? I didn't make Stadium 2 expensive. That was all you. Do you have Stadium 2, Zeph? No. Just Stadium 1. I only have Stadium 1 because a friend gave it to me as well. Also got the the thing. Okay, so I go down there, I walk over there, I go alright, okay, I, I see where I go. So I have two more rocket grunts to fight and then probably like the main guy Giovanni? I don't know. Maybe? You know what's kind of sad? In the Let's Go remakes, we never saw the Sevi Islands again. Oh, 
Also, I forgot, you know one of the reasons that people don't like Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl? Is mainly because they left out, like, a bunch of the good stuff from Platinum. Doing good. Yep, we have to fight Giovanni again, so it seems. I'll just use Earthquake. I'll just use Earthquake. Also, Zef. Yeah. Um, if after we do the post game, like I give him the second crystal, I'm gonna go check, and if we can do Mewtwo, um, we'll go do Mewtwo, and then we can end stream, and I'll be uh, <laughs> don't you dare laugh. And then I'll be ready to um, we can try out that other game if you would like. I don't care. What? I said, um, like once we're done with post game and I try to go capture Mewtwo and I end stream, we can, um, try that game. Oh, okay. That also kind of depends on the other person as well. Oh, if they're like asleep? No, they're they're not back yet, but like if you want cheeseburger back and then I will have to do some stuff. You gotta work for the cheeseburgers there. Man, what? I don't know. You what you get cheeseburgers sometimes, man. Yeah. Yeah. What about it's man? correlated. What about man this I don't even know what you're talking about anymore, now. You gotta help the person who has the money to get cheeseburgers there. What? What? It's what do you want about? what I'm talking about. What do you want about? What are you talking about helping them with anything? Yeah, you gotta go do Or getting cheeseburgers or you don't anything, want, man. You don't want cheeseburgers? Man, of course I want cheeseburgers. Then go I'm get cheeseburgers, right now, man. Actually. Man, I don't have burgers. Man, go. Get some. Man, stores are, like, mostly closed, dude. Really? It's only, like, seven. Yeah, for you, it's seven. When does your gro- wait, hang on. When does your grocery store close? It depends on the store. Where does, like, if you have- do you have a main one or no? The one that I go to that is close, it's it's a small place, I just go there because it's down the street. They close at 7. Jesus. You know what the, the one that we normally go to? But like, the main, like, good store to go to, which is kind of far, is like 10. Close at like 10. Ours closes at 1 a.m. And then, and then most of the regular places that are not like the good place to go to are like 9. Vision. Also, the one that closes at 7 is like a family business, so like 
It's it's the dude there that's there all freaking day. And now I'll show you the power of an angry adult. Uh oh. So like the dude basically works some 13, 14 hours to keep the store open. Well, that's what you do. Man, no. Yeah, you would sacrifice it all for Pal World. You'd but be yeah, like, damn, that's, that's I have my own business. They... Time to close it so I can play Pal World. That's why they closed kind of earlier than other stores. Yeah, most oh. of them are like 9, sometimes <laughs> 8. I was confused because that's why they closed earlier than other stores. When I was talking about playing Pal World, I'm like, oh, so the, the guy's closing early to go play Pal World? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, alright. Alright, I, I see you. Man. <laughs> Dude probably doesn't even play Pal World or games in general. Are you saying old people can't play video games? No, I'm just you saying that. You play video games and you're old. Big dude, I'm not old, man. You are old. I am not old. You know what Stadium 1 is. You, you're you old. You also know. <laughs> man, you know about Atari stuff. What are you talking <laughs> about? No, that's I different. barely know about Nintendo. Don't worry, that's over historical. Here. You're over here with freaking your Atari stuff. And I'm like, I barely know NES games. Look, look we don't. Sometimes I feel like I barely know Super Nintendo and even Nintendo 64. And you here, master of the Atari 2600. The master, I will admit, a lot of Atari 2600 games suck ass, but like. Yeah, and how do you know that they suck I ass? I have like 80. You have a bro. I don't even have a NES, and you over here with your Atari. Okay. You have like eighty games. You have a you your Atari thing? library is bigger than most of my libraries. Okay. With, uh, the Atari. <laughs> so it came with actually. I think it might be close to like sixty-four games, but sixty-four games. A bunch of the manuals for those games, the original like storage for those games, like the original like Atari box that you put the games in and the Atari 2600 plus all the cords you know how much I got that for how much 60 60 no jeez which honestly I don't need no, man, I don't even know if that's pretty good or not. Look, look, look. Just because I have Star Tropics and fucking Dragon Warrior on my desk don't mean shit, man. Yeah, I don't even know what Star Tropics is. You know what Dragon Warrior is? I've heard of it. And Star I've Tropics heard of it like... from someone who's like 45. Oh, you? No, it's a dude that really likes a bunch of VHS stuff and Nintendo stuff. Like, he likes older stuff and uh, doesn't really like newer stuff much. Star but, like, Tropics? he was saying that Dragon Warrior is really good. Star Tropics is, um... People compare it to The Legend of Zelda, the first one. Like, people like it a lot. Pe people like it quite a bit. Like, similar... Game Sorry, Blobberton, you're right. Just... My, my mic was uh, lower. Um, Kind of similar adventure-style gameplay with abilities and stuff. It's pretty sick. And also, it was, like, really cheap when I was picking it up. Yeah, Dragon Warrior I've heard is good, but I honestly, there's one thing about it I don't know about. You know how in Final Fantasy 1, how, like, nothing actually works and all this, like, a bunch of the stats don't mean shit? The hell? What? I searched up the game and Star this Tropics? is, like, one, yeah, this is one of the first few images I've, se I've seen. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. The hell? Don't, don't worry about that. <laughs> But what were you saying about stats and not mattering and stuff? You know how in um, Final Fantasy 1, how like a bunch of stats don't actually do anything? Same thing with like a bunch of weapons and armor and shit. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of broken stuff in FF1. That's why I'm wondering, do you think Original. Dragon Warrior has the same problem? Because it's also an RPG, you know? I mean, it's... Oh, damn it, I got an ad. Hold on. 
I'll tell you what I was saying after the end. Because I obviously can't hear you during the ends. I want like all food. What? Food. Did you did you say you want cat food? I said I want food. That's Giovanni. Right, I, I can't hear what you're probably saying as an ad. All I heard is that you want cat food. We'll abandon in the warehouse, but the end is over. over. I'll find Giovanni and I'll redirect to uh, resurrect Team Rocket. I will. Until then, farewell. But yeah, I almost managed to sell is... the sapphire for huge money. Then you just had to come along and blow the whole Very deal apart. Bogan. There's no forgiveness for you. Oh shit, I have to bottle this guy. Uh oh. Oops. What were you saying? Zeph? I was saying, like, yeah, FF1 is broken and I have no idea about if Dragon Warrior Ooh, is. Dragon Warrior. I should consider I don't even really know anything about it. One on the People are say some people say that uh, Dragon Warrior 1 is an objectively terrible game, or it's just really frustrating because like the magic attacks are random and shit, and it's just hard. People are just complaining that the game's hard. That's all I can find. Well, the thing is, if I'm pl if I'm gonna play Dragon Warrior, I'm gonna be playing with a guide. You know what I mean? Because I'll I guarantee a lot of that is gonna be. Because pretty much, I believe, anywhere on the overworld you can get an encounter, I think. And it's a lot of, like, where the fuck do I go? And you might have to, like, use an item on the overworld in, like, a place that you might not know where it actually is. And it's just, like, obscure. You know, like, that type of shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think it's like that. So without a guide, it would be just ass. Is Dragon Warrior the same as Dragon Quest? Oh, Dragon yes. Quest, I'm pretty sure. It's... The first Dragon Quest was titled Dragon Warrior in the US. So yeah. Drag yeah. It it has the slime things, the blue slime creatures. You know what I'm talking about. Wait a sec. If I Okay. Hold on. Someone was tell talking to me about this game i'm going to pull pull some images here hold on uh, <laughs> i was actually talking to someone about that the first dragon quest game and how, like, it can be very grindy, and there's, like, only so much actual story. Zev? Huh. I, I, ju I just found a, I just found a t-shirt design. Zev? I'm not gonna put it on stream, I'm gonna send it to you. <laughs> I opened an app for one second, and that's the first thing I saw. What, what, what do you think about that, Zev? I have not looked at it yet. Hold on. Damn, I thought Not Melon was gonna do, was gonna kill there, but I guess not. Oh, nice, Yowie. Yeah, I haven't done any waxing at all. 
Oh my god. <laughs> I opened an app and that's the first thing I saw, dude. It's a t-shirt. <laughs> so I don't know if you'll be able to see the character. Yeah. But you start in this town here. And do you see the castle directly below the player? Yep. That's the final dungeon. <laughs> it's really? that close by. So you can just like... But... Okay. You have to go all around this whole place just to get to it. And I believe the entire... Every single tile is an encounter zone, right? Like, there's different areas. Like, different levels of encounter zones. Like, you, like you go in one area and then, like, you grind up so, like... You can go to, like, the next area and grind up and then next area kind of thing. But yeah, so you you see how close the final dungeon is, but, like, you have to go through this, like, whole map just to get there. But it's, like, right there in sight. Yeah. Also, you know but about, yeah. you know, you obviously know about the Dragon Quest controller, right? Are you talking about the Switch one for the slime? Yeah. Yeah, the person that I was talking to about this has that controller. Do they have this one? He said it's really cool, but like awkward what to about hold that one? because it's huge. The one for the Wii. I have no idea. It looks really sick though. Like, I really like that, that Wii controller design. That, that's awesome, but it's really expensive. I wonder if they can. I feel like they probably don't, but they might. They have a lot of stuff, and a lot of expensive stuff too. Well, just like you, man. You can't no. even say you. So your Pokemon that are in box aren't expensive. They're first of all, this person has a complete in box steeled Panzer Dragoon Zaga. I thought you were gonna say Earthbound. <laughs> No, they have Earthbound, though, as Is well. Is it sealed? I do not know if it's sealed. I wouldn't doubt if they have a sealed copy. Jesus Christ. What? Zef, Zef I need to be friends with this person for they, no they particular have, reason. They have multiple sealed copies of stuff. Dude, ask them for Pal World. Pal World's like $30. Hold or, on, let me... Actually, you know what? Just ask them for, like... That that it that uh, sealed inbox game, and then you can sell it for Pal World. Man, I keep joking that I'm specifically gonna open it, not sell. It. Just gonna you're gonna get it. No, okay. So at the convention that I went to, I had an entire conversation with this guy, where I'm like, I was talking about collecting Skylanders, and I'm like, yeah, I normally don't get them in box because like, I'd want to open them and use them. Like, it, it just feels wrong, you know what I mean? To buy, like, a sealed game and then open it to use it. I mean, to be fair, you know what's really cool about, uh, Inbox Skylanders, though? Huh. Um, because the packaging, the bottom of the packaging is clear, you can put it on the portal if it's still in its box and it'll work. Which is kind of sick. So you can keep them in box. All right, Zeph, it's time to turn in the crystal or the sapphire. Turn in the sapphire. So this is the gem that forms a pair with Ruby. You've gone through a lot to get this, didn't you? Um. You don't have to tell me. I know it wasn't easy. Thank you so much. Now it's my turn to work for you. Please give me a little time. Okay, this is good. I did it. I linked up with Lynette. 
Captain. Captain, I did it. I managed to link up trainers in the Hoenn region. Finally, the network machine is fully operational. Captain, I owe it all to you. Thanks to you, my dream came true. I, I, I'm not crying. That's enough about me. Captain, you're gonna keep looking for exotic Pokemon, right? I wish you the best of luck. Okay. Link establishes like, the Kanto and Hoenn region. Sick. Like, man, you can buy the case and manual for Saga for the same price as complete in Box Emerald. <laughs> Jesus, man. <laughs> yeah. Seth, so you gotta get that friend that owes you money so you can get power. Gotta get power, man. Dude, like, Saga does not mess around in the price with area. It sounds like it. Alright, Zeph, guess what? can't even find a sealed copy on eBay. <laughs> Zeph, is it time? Time for what? Oh, to check the... Yeah, to check the thing. Oh, right, it's a... Right, Cerulean Cave is a giant fucking maze. Pretty much. Okay. Dude, like sometimes the demo sells for like, I think, 40 plus dollars. The demo, man. It's not even the full game. Jesus, dude. You want to buy a demo for forty dollars? I mean, to be fair, the a bonus disc for Coliseum is like, you know, two hundred. Yeah, but you're also getting something from the bonus disc, aren't you? Yeah. You, well, you know what else it has on it, right? You know, like the the, the big thing it has on it? Huh. It's a, um... It is a... Sneak peek at, like, the Jirachi movie. Like... The... Something about, like, the Wishmaker, or whatever. Here we go. Disc only, demo disc, $80. Yeah, but at least you get a demo. <laughs> Dude, it's a demo! It shouldn't cost $80, man. <laughs> For just the demo. <laughs> Here's a demo for $43. <laughs> Jesus. You should buy it. Then you can play the demo over and over again until you can buy the game. <laughs> Here we go, Frank. <laughs> Damn me, Ellie, I'm sorry. Also, Zeph, I sent you the uh, the images for Cerulean Cade. Um, am I gonna need a Pokemon that knows Rock Smash? Zeph, you think? Why would you need a Pokemon that needs Rock Smash? Well, look at the map. I'm trying to see if I need one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Why would you need one? Just climb over the rocks. Oh, actually, I don't think I do. I think it's just for the, like... The items. For most of the items you do. Eh, I'm not gonna bother. What, what are you talking about? Huh? What are you talking about? The Cerulean Cave? I sent you the images that, like, show where stuff is. Yeah. Do you, do you not, do you not see... 
Wait, hold on. You know, all like the ones that have numbers are all items. Oh, never mind. Yeah. I, because I seen like every ladder was behind a rock, but like when you enter, you surf up to A. You go to A first, I believe. Yeah, yeah, we that would hurt quite a bit. Wait, what? Yeah, you go to A. Yeah, oh no, you don't go to A? Because you have to end on F, and to get to F, you have to go from E. Oh wait, do you start with C then? Wait, no, only E, only E can get you to F, because you have oh. to. Wait, so you just go over to B, and then you go down B again, then you go, you run from B all the way over to E. Yeah. What? Oh yeah, how'd that go for them? Yeah, Zef, we go over to B. And then B you, goes to E, and E goes to F. What are you talking about? Look, I go to- look. B so, is a dead end. No, I went Even over to B. Oh no, no, I went over to B past ladder B. Okay, 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 okay. You went over to Ladder B past Ladder B? Yeah. I went from the entrance over to where Ladder B is to make my way over to E. You're in front of Ladder C. Yes. What are you, what are you talking, Kate, listen, listen. You said you went past Ladder B. I did. To get to I Ladder B. No, okay, I went to the entrance. And, okay, and okay, then I, you said you were standing in front of ladder no, E, no, which I, you're in front of C. No, I came, okay, so I got, I got in the entrance, I went <laughs> I went over to ladder B, then I walked past ladder B, and now I'm on my way to ladder E. Yeah, but you can't, wait, what? Oh, you can, you can. go around straight to ladder E. Yeah. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I thought you couldn't just By walk the way, I, I did kind of realize halfway through what I was saying that I was saying it in the most fucking confusing way possible rather than just saying I went into the entrance and I'm going into ladder E. I, I added in a bunch of shit. Yeah, and it doesn't help that you said ladder B twice. You're like, I went past ladder B to go to ladder B and I'm like, I'm sorry, what? Yeah, my, my, uh... My partner, my, dude, my, my partner sometimes has the same issue with me where I will be like, I'll be speaking about something and then I'll accidentally make it really confusing and say stuff twice and then they get flustered. They're like, what the fuck are you trying to say? And I'm like, what do you mean? What do I mean? Yeah, well, that's what happened to me. I'm like, what are you even talking about, dude? I'm gaming. What do you mean? What do I mean? Man. If you are here and listening, Colonel's partner, I apologize. I am sorry you have to deal with this. Zev, if, if you clip that part, if you clip the part where I made you get confused, or like just tell me the timestamp, just just like tell me the timestamp in stream, I'll show it to them. Because they're not off work yet. But I'll show it to them. Just so they know that it's not just them. Yeah, that's... It's about like around 350. 349-ish, 350-ish. I don't know. Oh, I'm not confused. I understand. I, don't, I understand what I'm saying. <laughs> like, how do you not just confuse yourself? <laughs> um, that's a good question. My brain works. Not that much. In strange ways. <laughs> Zef, I'm get I'm getting an I'm getting an ADHD test for a reason. Uh, Are you mad? What do you mean? What do I mean? What do you mean? That what do I mean? What are you talking about?
Boruto, if you want to be confused, just continue listening to Colonel. It'll be... it'll happen. Uh -huh. That's almost... Dude, that's almost like the, the one joke in... In, um, what you call it? In Abridged for Dragon Ball Z. Everyone is talking about how they're, they've they been dead and Chi Chi's like, I haven't died yet. And then Krillin's just like, Oh yeah, don't worry, it'll happen soon. You're hanging out with the right crowd. <laughs> or something like that. Man, that just reminds me of the stuff you showed me with Vegeta with a mustache. Oh my god, the freaking Vegeta with the mustache. I shaved my mustache, you idiot. <laughs> Oh my god, it's Please. so bad. Man. Notice anything different about me? <laughs> and when his daughter just like, looked like a total geek. Totally no geek. geek. Total geek. He did the like echoing. <laughs> it shows him completely defeated. <laughs> The light, everything's dark around him, the light above him. <laughs> you know what'd be you know what'd be interesting? Should I make that a should I make that a sub goal? What? Well like people Like if they sub that plays or what? No, like make it a sub goal to shave fully. Oh, to shave your mustache and beard? Yeah. 200 subs. Zeph, gift, know, gift man, 200 subs. Like a little much. <laughs> Zeph, yeah, gift 200 subs. I think you should make it one sub. I think you should make it one sub. No, because then you're going to find the money to be able to do that just because you think it'd be funny. <laughs> man, no. I'm going to double save. All right, you ready to you ready to do Mewtwo? Are you sure you double save? You should save again. Are you ready to do Mewtwo? I'm ready to watch you do Mewtwo? try and catch Mewtwo. You ready to watch me do Mewtwo? You said Mew, what the heck? I thought it's Mewtwo. Oh shit, it hit me with a psychic. It is level 70. So. Yeah, it's level 70. It always starts 70. Yeah, we don't really have anything good to weaken it. I'm just gonna like it's using safeguard. I have to wonder if Mewtwo actually has like good stats, good moves. Zeth, did you just vibrate? Zeth, are you vibrating over there? It used safeguard again. Sleep powder. Hit me with a swift. That could kill. Oh no. No wait, it's printed by safeguard. Alright, well, I'm just gonna like... I'm gonna throw one Pokeball because I think it's funny. Oh, We're gonna catch it, guys! We're totally gonna do it! Oh no! Oh shit, yeah, not Melon's gone. One Psychic from me too. Absolute decimation. Alright, yep. Uh, we'll just have Mr. Biscuits out. We'll just start throwing Ultra Balls. Alright, first Ultra Ball on Mewtwo. Oh god. Oh right, it has Recover! That's what makes this ass. Zeph, 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 why are you vibrating over there? Stop, Zeph. Yes, I can. I set an alarm for two seconds. <laughs> yeah, set an alarm. Uh huh. Yeah, sure, sure. No, no, that's just you. That's the noise you make. You're vibrating. That's what I was saying, Yowie. 
Also, wait, it has recover. You know what I should do? Do you think I should toxic? I mean, you could do that. Also, you see what Yaoi said? No, I did not. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna reset real quick. Alright, not so cool, like, is almost dead. Man, now I see the yes. <laughs> I to respond to message. Yeah, I'll, I'll use a hyper potion. To get not so cool, like, back up to full health. <laughs> yeah, so Zav, is that what you were doing? Man, no. You sure? I am sure. You beat Yaoi to it? Wait, to what? Why are, you, why are you saving? What happened? Huh, well, I, uh, I, um, I healed not so cool because it was at like four health. I want to be able to use toxic. Oh, you reset and then healed and then saved. Yeah. All right, I'm using toxic. Health. Might as well. Because it has recover, so, you know, theoretically this should be fine. I don't even remember how much recover is. Is it... 10 or 20 pp? I think or it's 15. It's like, because Sword was like. I know it's not a lot. And it's a 50% heal. That I. That's all I know for sure. Like, it's where it's 10, like you said? Yeah. Well, this is the best we're gonna get, pretty much. Toxic and. Because there's no way I can get Mewtwo to, like, that low of health, you know what I mean? I think not so cool is dead. Point. Yeah, not so cool dies from one psychic no matter what, because you know poison. I don't want to send out not melon yet. Okay, poison's like almost killing him, which is fine. Just get in the ball. I believe Mewtwo has a worse catch rate than the birds. I think. Do you know, Seth? I'm pretty sure all of these box legendaries have, like, the lowest catch rate. I don't think Mewtwo's a... Is Mewtwo a box legendary? I mean, he's... He's th not there was on no, the box. There was... But the starters were the starters on the, were on the box, boxes. yeah. So that's why. And then on top of that, oh wait, no, no, no. I was gonna say a different thing, but that's slightly different. Dude, toxic does so much damage over time. Man. But yeah, the Gen One didn't have anything on the box for for legendaries. It wasn't yeah. until Gen Two, because then that's when they did Crystal was Suicune. And, um, soul, no, freaking gold and silver were ho oh and thing. You got soul silver on the brains, now. <laughs> but then, emerald and ruby, they did Kyogre and Groudon, but they didn't have Rayquaza as the thing, even though Rayquaza is the high level thing. But emerald put them on there. And then, diamond and pearl, I know, did the same thing, yeah, where Giratina. Yeah, oh, and yeah. Dialga and Palkia. Where Giratina was the... For Platinum. How did your waxing go, Yaoi? Yeah, and then Black and White is the one where it was... Oh, wait, no, because that one had the... Kiram or whatever the hell. Kiram and Zekrom, yeah. What? Huh? No, I'm, I'm talking about the other thing. Or is that for Black 2 and White 2? The thing that you confuse... That's black 2 and white 2. Okay. I thought... I thought black 2 and white... Well, black and white had, like, their own level 70 thing. 
I thought that was Zekrom and Rushoran. Yeah, those are... Oh yeah, aren't they 70? Yeah, I believe so. You have to fight with them too. It's been a... I feel like I remembered... I mean, there's like the... The trio in that game as well, but I don't think they're... Like Keldeo and stuff, but I don't think they're that high level. And Psychic's gonna kill. Zev, I'm so tempted to just like... I'm not gonna throw the Master Ball, but it's tempting just to like... Get it done, you know? Not use safeguard. Oh, it failed? Is it still... Right. Yeah, I can't give it stat shit, so... Zeph, what do you think? Should we even try to weaken Mewtwo? Does it matter? Yes, it would still matter because the whole HP thing. Technically. But at the same time, it... Like, lower HP, obviously, is, you know, better for the catch rate, but it can also recover, which sucks. Yeah. And we can't- it has safeguard, too, so we can't, like, give it a status condition once it has safeguard up. Why don't you just use the master ball like I did? <laughs> I was, well, I said that, I was, like, tempted to, because then we're done, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, Thunder looks really sick. Yeah, Thunder has a really cool animation. Yeah. You know, it has an even cooler animation. Hmm. Basically, any ice attack. Like, missed. Is Mist Ice? Yeah. Oh. I, and I said attack, sir. Mist is not attack. Close enough. Attack, not attack. What's the difference, Mist really? Move. Mist is a move. Are you saying Ice you're not schmoovin' while playing Pokemon? Yeah, who the hell walks around while playing Pokemon? Aside from Pokemon Go. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, technically, you don't have to move. Oh, for did that. you know? Did you know there's a? Like uh... I saw that. Yeah. Right. Uh, did you know that there's a new Monster Hunter game that's in the same style as Pokemon Go? I did not. <laughs> How does that make you feel? You gotta go walk around, to go get monsters, go like defeat monsters. What do you think, Zeph? Should I throw an Ultra Ball or a Pokeball? To catch it. Which one? I think you should throw the Master Ball. Pokeball it is. Master Ball? Or that purple po- Throw the purple Pokeball. I mean, it would match the color scheme. The beta is coming this month. Oh, for the Monster Hunter thing? So I'm assuming it's actually a mobile game? Yeah. Man, I want gather Final Fantasy Gathering Outdoors. <laughs> Do you remember that video I showed yes, you? Yes, yes I do. With the yeah. stick and the dude, the way they look so happy running out the van and then they just start smashing their phones into <laughs> yeah. the trees and on the rock. <laughs> Gotta gather the resources, dude. This isn't just an ordinary stick. It's a special stick. <laughs> oh my god, that thing was so neat. Also, by the way, we're we're about to like the PC game. What 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 one? 
Also, we're on our last Pokemon. I think our best bet, honestly, is to use Toxic and then just throw Ultra Balls the entire time, by the way. Probably. So I don't really want to use the Master Ball. I don't know. You know what I'd rather use the Master Ball on in this game if I'm going to use it? Huh. Uh, the Roaming. The Roaming Legendary. That, like, if it roars, it's gone forever. That makes sense. Considering, uh, I would prefer it to not just fucking leave the game permanently. Dude, what, what, what? No <laughs> Look at stream. What is this? 70, level 70 Mew, full health, level 5 Dennis, <laughs> throwing ultra balls. <laughs> uh, you psychic. Damn, it had to ruin my fun. Yeah, I guess I'll just use Toxic and then just throw Ultra Ball. Zev, you think you can look up the catch rate? I wonder what the catch rate is. I don't even know if it'll... Like, show? Really... Yeah, because remember, there's also, like, a bunch of stuff to it. Um... I'll only use the Master Ball if for some reason this isn't shiny locked. And it becomes a shiny, but I'm pretty sure it's probably locked. It's like we got Toxic off first. I out- wait, I outspeed Mewtwo? With not so cool? Really? I'm like, way lower level too, I'm 13 lo levels lower. Yeah, I'm just gonna start chucking Ultra Balls. Like, starting now, rather than trying to do any more damage. Mm -hmm. I might as well. Considering Mewtwo is strong and could actually kill us, I'd rather just, like, start chucking Ultra Balls. Damn, we got two shakes in, though. That's pretty good. Alright, Not So Cool is definitely going down. I have a question, by the way. Yep. Are Dusk Balls a thing yet? I don't know. I can look it up. You're, you're in a cave. Dusk Ball. No, they're in Diamond Pearl Platinum. Gen 4 is when they're introduced. A lot of the specialty balls get introduced in Gen 4, which is annoying, because, like, one of the ones that I would really love right now is the Quick Ball. Quick Ball is really, really nice. Yeah, we'll just do this. This is just our, our strategy. I guess. Well, guess what, man? Guess what? What? I found a calculator. Let's go. Catch rate calculator. So, this, you can even put, like, exactly one HP. Well, that's not the case, but, yeah. And all these different balls... Did you know the Master Ball is 100% capture? No shit, really? <laughs> I think it'd be really funny if they made it 99%. <laughs> so there's just a 1% chance your Master Ball just fucking doesn't work. Alright, give me that calculator information on Mewtwo. Ultra Ball only. Because we don't... <laughs> What's the Pokeball chance? Uh, should I be using Pokeball? <laughs> do you, do you want to know? Okay, what kind of news do you want here? What do you mean? What, are you, are you, what kind of... What? 
Do you want some like good news, bad news, or like what? Give me like, the bad news first. I think this would be the bad news. At exactly one HP, an Ultra Ball has a two point one zero six percent chance. What about if it? Okay, what's the good news? The all the Master Balls a hundred percent. Oh my fucking god! What about Pokeball? So, uh, a Pokeball at a hundred percent is the <laughs> same as an Ultra Ball at a hundred percent. I mean, wait, no, sorry. So if he, if he has, hold on a second. Hold on. <laughs> Zeph fucking okay. has a stroke and dies. I, I'm listening to like one thing and like trying to look at the fact that person sent me a picture of taco chips oh! while looking at it. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I oh, I see. <laughs> Let's go. Dude, I mentioned taco chips. Oh, here's. Oh! <laughs> Like, like, are you freaking out about the chips or what? And then I look up and then he I caught it when it's asleep and it flew. No, taco chips, dude. Like, just fucking yeah, loses full, my shit. Full health. Full health with the Ultra Ball is the same as 1 HP with a Pokeball, which is 0.83%. What about when it's asleep? But 100%. Well, it's asleep with an ultra ball is 1.598%. Oh my god. <laughs> Taco chips. Let's go! <laughs> I'm just, just freaking out about the tacos, man. I'm just like losing my shit. I'm like, yeah! Oh shit, Zeph. How do we. You know what I have to do now, though? I have to get out of the cave. Which is like fine, it's just like annoying. Oh my god. Also, Zeph, our Pokedex is at 84. That's like pretty good if we ever want to come back and finish the decks. So yeah, 1 HP with no status with an Ultra mm -hmm. Ball is higher chance. Oh, shit. Yeah, Zeph, guess what? Well, like, 5%. What? You know how I want to do shiny hunting? Yeah. Do you, do you know when the shiny charm is? You know what the shiny charm is, right? No. It increases your odds of finding a shiny Pokemon. It, like, okay. it, but normally, you know how you get it? You have to, like, normally complete the Pokedex. Um, It wasn't introduced until Pokemon Black and White 2. How much in the injury? What? Say that again. I was. I'm trying to respond about these these chips, man. Yeah. <laughs> ones that I thought you were freaking out over my comments. <laughs> Wait, did you say taco chips? Hang on. Hang yeah, on. Yeah, like taco flavor. What? What is? What is a taco's flavor? I. I don't know. The, Tastes like tacos, I guess. Is it tastes like tacos or taco seasoning? Maybe the seasoning? I don't know. <laughs> They're taco flavored, okay? That's all I know. You gonna, the bags you gonna get them? taco on them. You gonna get them? No, I'm getting the, the chili cheese fries ones. I never had chili cheese fries. Never... <laughs> Are they good? Hold on, I have to block you on Discord real quick. Man! <laughs> have you ever had a chili dog, Zan? I actually have not. I have. They're pretty oh, wait, good. no, I have. Never mind. Yeah, I have. They're pretty good. With extra onions. Mmm, onions. Zeph, did you know I like onions? Yeah, I do know you <laughs> like onions. <laughs> dude, dude, that fucking... Oh, you can catch Kadabras here. Interesting. Uh, no, dude, the way you said that, you were like, yeah, I you fucking know you like onions. How do you know, Zev? 
because I know with how you were with onions, man. Freaking just just eat straight onions if I'm right. Dude, I ate a tiny piece of a straight onion once and like I died. It was terrible. Wait, hang I was on. like, how the frick do people eat this? Hang on, wait. What do you mean like a tiny piece? You mean like just like, like a... I was like I was cutting some onions and then like there was like half a ring and I was like, you know, it's fine, I eat onions, so then I just ate it and it was horrible. No, it's great. What do you mean? <laughs> Terrible experience. No, it's delicious. Dude, the flavor Bro, I went to the fridge and I grabbed some ranch and just drank ranch to get rid of the flavor. <laughs> so we got extra onions on somebody's burger from a from a burger place. Cause yeah. we couldn't because we couldn't remember if they liked onions or not. They they didn't. So they just gave like it was like um two like slabs of onions. I don't really know what you like you know how like when you slice them and there's a bunch of like the rings? Yeah. It was like two full slices. They just gave it to me and instead of putting it on my burger, I just fucking ate it. <laughs> Man, I like felt like I was. D My mouth was like. I want to say burning, but it's not a burning feel. I can't really explain what the hell that. It's like a burning sensation, but it's not. Can't hot. handle spice. Is that what I'm hearing? It's it's not hot. It's not a hot flavor. Oh, I know. I know exactly what it's you're talking weird... about. I don't know what it's like. It's delicious. <laughs> it's not delicious. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> like, look it, if you cook onions or put onions with stuff, it's fine, but it's just great onion. That, They're pretty good. That was, that was a mistake. No, That was horrible. Good. That was a horrible. They're delicious, way. man. What are you talking, what are you on about? No, that was not delicious. That was terrible, dude. No, they're pretty good. I will admit, if you haven't eaten anything else and you eat raw onions, it does burn the ever living fuck out of your stomach. But, you know, besides that, pretty, pretty good. Oh, although the burger thing that you mentioned, I do have I do have a little story that I have to tell you. All right. So, me and the other person, we went to Five Guys once, Five, and right. we both got some burgers. But for whatever reason, their burger did not have, like, the burger patty on it. What? <laughs> there was no burger on the burger. <laughs> they didn't have the burger patty. There was no meat. Huh. Yeah, like, but then what happened was... So, I'm... So... Obviously, that's not something that would just normally happen, right? Yeah. So I went up to the counter, and I was like, yo, there's hey. no burger on this. And the person kind of looked at me like, the hell? Like, what? Like, are you crazy? Yeah, they're going, so, what? Did you steal the burger so patty they, so you they, get a new one? I showed them, and they were confused. And they're like, what the heck? So this other employee seemed, looked over and was like, kind of wondering what the hell's going on. They came over. And then the first employee's like, there's no burger on this. And then he did the same thing to the employee. Like, what are you, are you crazy? <laughs> no, no, there's no burger on the burger. And then there was another employee. He was, like, coming out the back, and he looked over, and he seen us, like, wondering what the fuck is happening. He comes over, and then the, the second dude, and the first dude are telling him there's no burger. And then he looks at him, does the same thing to them, like... Are you guys crazy? The the fuck what do you mean, mean there's no burger? <laughs> yeah, it was it was just this chain of the same thing happening. <laughs> it was like this extra person coming in. And then like there's like three people standing there. Three employees, they're all like looking at the burger, like confused, like wondering what the hell happened. And I'm here like, what the frick? And then they're like, you know what? I think this deserves an extra patty, and I'm like, no, it's fine, it's fine, you know? And then they, they basically remade the burger <laughs> with an extra patty on it, so we basically got another burger. But I, mean, I kept being like, no, you know, you don't have to do an extra, and they're like, they kept like, looking at each other, like, you guys think this deserves an extra patty? I'm like, yeah. 
Yeah, this we should give them an extra. I mean, to be fair, they didn't give you a burger in your burger the first time, so. <laughs> but the other person, they didn't want the the second patty. They just wanted a single, so, oh, so they gave just... it to me. So my double ended up with triple. <laughs> oh my god, that reminds me of um. There's a burger at In and Out that it's it's on their secret menu. So there's like the the normal hamburger, then there's the 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 double double which is it's the it's the two patties then there's a three by three which is three patties and then there's a four by four which is four patties oh my god <laughs> do you want to mail you one <laughs> man no no should i mail no. you food no don't mail me food unless it's non-perishable oh so i should send you the dehydrated nope. water <laughs> remember no. the, have you seen that <laughs> Yeah, I think you did. Yeah, the can of dehydrated spent... water. All you have to do is add water, dude. In case of emergencies. That's so stupid. <laughs> oh, also, by the way. Your economy is um, freaking like the gift of nothing and stuff around there. <laughs> yeah. For, for someone who has everything, give them the gift of nothing. All right. Yeah, we're, the, we're the people who said they want nothing. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. It was a different version. Guess what? We are huh. fully done with Leaf Green. We have all fully the items done. we need. We have all the Pokemon we need. All 60. So yeah, we're, we're good. We're done. One out of six. You, you, made, you made sure to get all the items you need. Yep. The duplicate poly worlds, yep. including for trading. Yeah, I already traded. Oh, okay. Sick. Also, wait, is it six games, or is it just five? Leaf Green, Coliseum, uh, Gale of Darkness, oh. Ruby, and Emerald. That's five. Oh, yeah, because, yeah, there's stuff in Ruby. One out of five games done. Don't so you think... need stuff from, like, Ruby or Sapphire? Isn't that what you were? Wait, no, yeah, Ruby. Yeah. Emerald, Ruby... Yeah, all right. no, 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 that's that's five games. So, thank you all for watching. I very much appreciate it. We will be back potentially tomorrow, starting my first playthrough Coliseum. Uh, if you'd like yeah. to be here, please consider Coliseum. following. First playthrough what? Uh, please consider following and joining the Discord if you're interested in keeping up with this long series of completing Emeralds National decks as we just finished Leaf Green. Well... I I would like to see it, but I'm already in the Discord and already following. Let's all well, uh, 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 like uh, a uh, complimentary game. All right, let me Hello. find someone in the <laughs> Fire Red Leaf Green. Should we f wait? Should I find someone to raid in Fire Red or Leaf Green or in Emerald? I mean, it's up to you. Raid whoever the hell you want, man. <laughs> Technically, it's up to you. How do we feel about a semi-buff? Ferret man. What? <laughs> is that is that who we agree on? What? <laughs> what are you even talking about? I'm talking about raiding people, man. Yeah, but what do you mean a semi-buff Barrett man? <laughs> ferret. Ferret man. Oh, fer I thought she said Barrett. <laughs> Barrett, like, like from Final, Final Fantasy. Fantasy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And you were like, like, he's what? already, he's already buff. What are you fucking talking about? <laughs> this is why I wasn't sure what you were talking about. I was like, the hell you mean a bear, man? <laughs> Am I insinuating that he wasn't a man before? That'd be kind of a problem. <laughs> Everything just fell apart. So I thought you were talking about bear. I also have a stream open too, where like I'm kind of watching. And, like, they also have Barrett on their overlay. <laughs> so I'm, like, here looking at, like, the polygon Barrett. You're like, what so the fuck are I'm you like, on what? about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, jeez. So man. I'm really tempted. Okay, so there is someone that I would, like, I would love to, like, raid. Just because of the fact that it's their first ever Nuzlocke, but also they have a lot of viewers. So I, I don't really... I normally don't raid people with massive amounts of viewers, you know what I mean? Makes sense. They have 407 viewers. 
Because yeah, I, I tend to avoid sometimes, those. Sometimes I'll even see people who have like 20 people. I'm like, yeah, they have enough people. <laughs> well, no, the, the, right. the other thing is that... Never mind 400. Well, the other thing is if you raid them and they have that high viewership, normally they have raids turned off. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, what about someone who's doing the Emerald Roguelike? Oh, we could do someone else who's doing a first-time playthrough. Although they have 31 viewers. Well, let me take a look. Hang on, hang on. Let me make sure their stream is rigged, muted. I oh, they also have the Pokemon avatars. That's kind of sick. That's kind of cool. Uh, sure. I don't know. We can we can try raiding into them. It's their first playthrough of Emerald. Zeph, have you ever played through Pokemon Emerald? I have not. I bought it, but I never played through it. Oh, that couldn't Even be me. I have some over 150-something hours. That couldn't be me. I play the games I buy. Dude, don't boy, laugh at really, me. Don't really, laugh at me. Really now. All right, thank you all for so, watching. I'm very. I'll so, see you all next time. Bio, Earthbound. All right.